Give him all adoration. He's a faithful God. Can you find some good names and call this our God? The one that fights our battles. The one that raises the dead. The one that calls forth those things that be not as though they were. Somebody called him the Lord my troublemaker. Somebody called him the Lord my defense. Somebody called him the Lord my shield and my buckler. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my salvation. Do I have people in this house this morning? You came with joy to draw from the wells of salvation. Our joyful days are here. Can you lift up your hands to God? Thunder with me, say today. Shout today. I decree and declare the doors, the gates of joy, of joy, of praise are open in this service I step in to my joy I step in with joy I step in I draw from the wells of salvation every gate every door of joy in my life in my family I decree in this service a father Open, open. Can you pray, child of God? It is our service of joyful days are here. Esha palata yagada, erata kapasa, esha nakata yada da, rekete kete ya, esha pata ya, erakata ya, esha nakapata. We joy, we are drawing from the wells of salvation. Salvation. And the Bible said, Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. Across this service, let joyful sounds erupt. And if you know that is your service as well, can you turn the fire? Seems of joy, Abuja. Look at your neighbor, Fusca, the Fusca. I say my joyful days are here. Eh, say that to, just do my joyful days are here. I don't know about you, but my joyful days are here. Is somebody ready to praise the Lord? Yeah. Give the Lord a shout! Say, I 
about to do. Can you raise your voice again? Declare your victory with your shout. Declare new territories with your shout. Declare access with your shout. Declare a higher season with your shout. Somebody give him a shout. 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 Your joyful days are here. Celebrate like you know. He has made a way where there seems to be no way. Celebrate like you know. Joy has come. Joy has come. Joy has come. Joy. 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 Shake up. Like it all. Rabia. Let your amen turn the louder. Let me hear your amen rise. Let your amen thunder. Lift up your right hand and thunder. My joy is full. Can you scream it louder? My joy is full. My joy is full. My joy is full. My joy is full. Say right now. Let everything align. 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 Now. Align. Now. Align. Now, 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 open your mouth, Rakata, Ishakata, Apalata, Rakutan, Ishamada, Alakurase, Etebere, Rakapadasa, Alatula, Eshakada, and Lebia. What the Lord has begun, He will complete. Your joy must be full. Your joy, Kata, open your mouth, declare it, Ekorasha. It will not end on the way. Your joy is full. Ekotor. Your joy is full. Let the remaining days of the year. Lakotor. Bring a completion to the joy. Ekotor. 
Ganete, Ishaka, Atala, Rekoto, Esende, Alabada, Rakata, Rekoto, Latabe, Ishad, Akata, Arabade, Isaka, Elato, Zakibat, Lakoto, Rasabada, Ekoto, Ramiada, Esubada, Atata, Lakata, Rabasa, let your aim it on the louder. Let your aim and rise higher. I need you to turn the garment of sorrow. I need you to shout the garment of sorrow. Garment of sorrow. Garment of pain. Garment of shame. Garment of bitterness. Around my life. I say no. I say no. Garment of affliction. Garment of demonic embargo. Garment of evil covering. Around my life. Never again. Never again. Never again, we are rapper. You are fire, 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 fire. Open your mouth, see that garment, see that garment. That devil is a liar, see that garment. Rakataba, he's Sakata, Ayabata, Alakata, Tiarita, Hipata, Akata, Eshada, Akata, Akata. Labia, last Sunday in the month of October, your joy must be full. Rakata, Ipata, Shakata, let the garment, let it tear. Shabada, Akata, Amiada, Akata, who shall lay any charge against God's elect? It is God, it is God that justifies it. Ashaba, Ekota, Rabiada, Ashad, Atad. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the louder. We command, let every garment of shame, let every garment of pain, let every garment of bitterness, on the sound of your amen, let it be torn by fire. Let it be torn. 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 Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Let your image rise. Let your image rise. I don't know who you are, but I hear the Lord say, I'm giving you back what you lost. I'm giving you back what you lost. He's coming back on a higher level. He's coming back on a higher level. He's coming back on a higher level. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. I don't know who you are. I call us. They diagnose your child of cerebral palsy by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Somebody turn the fire. Fire. Say today that evidence, that evidence, that manifestation. That will make me shout for joy wherever you are. Appear, 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 appear. Say today that evidence, that manifestation that will make me shout for joy right now. Appear, appear by fire, appear by fire, appear by fire, appear, 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 appear. Up here, up here, up here, open your mouth, Lakata, Rakata, Ashabade, Ekoto, Rabiana, Atana, Rekoto, Labia, Ashakata, Rakato, Labiana, Ashate, Akoto, Asata, Alabia, Ashokada, Alabia, Atade, Ekoto, Rabesha, Atade, Alato, Arasa, let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn. I don't know the family that I'm speaking to, but I see a house. Rakada. On the foundation of that house, there are snakes, there are sex, there are pythons in the foundation of that house. I don't know the family bloodline. I am addressing whatever this python represents in the foundation of your bloodline. On the sound of your amen, let it be broken. 
Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Right now. 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 Somebody shall fire. I don't know who I am talking to, but at the sound of your amen, any name that you are carrying in the spirit, that is not your destiny name. Ecolashaya. Anybody that gave you any name, projected a name, manipulated a name towards you, that is not your name. And the name is manifesting in your life. Oh, the sound of your amen. I announce, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Can I hear you turn the fire? Can you shut fire? Shut fire. Shut fire. Say today, any power that says my joy will not be full. Powers attacking my joy. Attacking my evidence. Attacking my result. You are a liar. You are a liar. Wherever you are, fire, 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 fire. Open your mouth like a jail. A shatter. You better stop them before they stop you. Rakata. Is shakada. Atad. Akota. Lata. Is shakada. Atata. Lakoraje. Rakata. A shatter. Lapia. Zamina. Ikotona. Labiada. A shakada. Rakata. Rabiada. A shad. A kata. A levi. Irasa. A shada. A pata. A lakota. A shada. A levia. A kota. A levia. A shada. A ta. A lava. A resa. Let your image turn the louder. If you are under the sound of my voice and you are saying, Oh Lord, Ekota, oh Lord, I need you now. Turn it around. It is an emergency. It is an emergency for my joy. It is an emergency. And you are saying, Lord, if you don't intervene in the next few days, something might go wrong. Something might go wrong. If it is indeed an emergency, run out to the altar. Run out to the altar. As you are coming out, be turned Fire, 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 Akata, Eleviana, if it's an emergency, Rakata, Shabada, be the clarifier, be the clarifier, be the clarifier, Ekata, in La Payada, Isanda, Rakata, La Payada, Asaka, Asade, Etoda, Alabada, Irokota, Rakata, Isada, Alata, Arabada, Ekota, Labiada, Isakada, let somebody turn down a loud amen. Let your amen rise higher. Everybody lift up your two hands. Oh, the sound of your amen. Because the Lord He set you someone free. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Any monitoring eyes that monitor you to recreate negativity. Any monitor copart. Shikitiba. Zelebiana. Rekete. Ishaba. Ataba. Rabia. Isaka. Ata. Rabia. Oh, the sound of your amen. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Break by fire. 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 Let your image thunder. Let your image thunder. Let your image thunder. There's a mighty deliverance. The Lord said there will be no burial in your house in the next two weeks. Nobody will die in two weeks. Nobody will die. 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 Let your image turn. Let your image rise. Let your image rise. Let your image rise. Lift up your two hands. Turn down, oh Lord, the God of my joy. Say, Elroy. Elroy. The God that sees me. Say, Abba. Abba. The God of my joy. Say, Rhina. Turn it around. Turn it around for my joy. Turn it around. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. For joy. Turn it. By fire. Turn it. By fire. Turn it. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire.
fire, by fire. Open your mouth. Join it. Join it. Join it. Get it. Are you praying? Are you praying? Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise higher. As your two hands are lifted higher in the house, let the Lord turn it right now. I didn't hear the sound of your amen. I said, let the Lord turn it right now. The Lord is turning it. 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 For joy. For joy. For joy. Right now. 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 Let your amen turn now. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Spirit of God said, the devil stole your speed. This is not your speed. The devil stole your speed in destiny. He Calabasha, you began with speed. At some point, you lost your speed. The Lord said, it has been restored. The Lord restores it. The Lord restores it. The Lord restores it. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. The Lord said, I'm removing every covering, every covering, blocking your favor. Covering, blocking your marital favor. Covering, stopping your career favor. Blocking, stop it. Covering, blocking your business favor. We young them off. We young them off. We young them off. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. By fire, by fire, by fire, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Let your image turn now. Let your image turn now. Lift up your two hands. Say, My joy is already full. Say, My joy is already full. Say, Today, today, I command, let there be a manifestation right now, right now, right now. Everybody lift up your two hands. I don't know what the Lord is asking me to do this. At the sound of your amen, I announce, let the true greatness, let the true greatness, let the true weight of greatness the Lord has put in you, that the enemy is sitting on. Let the true greatness that the Lord has put in your family, let the true Sound of your amen. I announce, let it erupt by fire. Let it erupt. Let it erupt. Right now. 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 Let your amen turn 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 now. Lift up your two hands. I announce your joyful days are here. Your joyful days are here. That one prayer point that you have been making, that one thing you have been asking God for, Shakataya, for you to know that your joyful days are here. If your amen will turn like a warrior, receive it right now. Receive it right now. He will not pass in the seven days. 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 Let your amen turn now. Can you stretch forth your two hands towards me? Stretch forth your two hands towards me. He can Whatever that this answer we are lacking. Whatever that was not in this answer before you came to this altar. Oh, Shabbat. Oh, the sound of your amen. I announce the Lord is blessing it there. 
Receive it right now. 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 Let your image on now. Let your image on now. Can I hear you turn the fire? Shout it fire. Shout it fire. Say today. Battles. Battles. Against my joyful news. Battles. Against my joyful news. What are you doing around my life right now? Fire, 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 fire. Open your mouth. Stop them. Stop them. Racket them. Atalaya. Stop them. Jezebel. Stop them. Racket. Isaka. Atabara. Elevator. Zakata. Racket. Isaka. Atabara. Lakata. Ipata. Elevator. Irokota. Sada, Atabada, Ereko, Isanda, Ikoto, Eshebe, Alaba, Ekata, Arabina, Isakada, Ashaka, Atabada, Alata, Irabada, Atata, Rekota, Isha, Ape, Isa, Atana, Araba, Eko, Esakata, Isakata, Alabada, Alakota, Eshabada, Asaka, Alabe, Itota, Araba, a shadow, he took out a level. Let your aim and turn the louder with your two hands lifted. A labenabo sikanda, a labea shakada, a rabea nasa. I see a growth that keeps getting bigger and bigger. A labea nabashaka, somewhere around Karabanabasaka, the neck of your truth by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I announce, let it be reversed right now. Let it be reverse. 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 Everybody lift up your two hands to say the Lord. I am giving you a garment of celebration to wear. The Lord is releasing your garment of celebration. Nobody will block this one. Nothing will spoil this one. Nothing will spoil this one. Nothing will spoil this one. Let your amen thunder. I don't know who I am praying for, but as your two hands are lifted, human agents, human agents sent to spoil your good news. Human agents sent to spoil your joyful days. Human agents sent to bring you pain in the midst of your laughter. If your amen will talk. We announce, let them be uprooted by fire. Let them be uprooted by fire. Let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted. Right now. 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 Let your image turn. Let your image turn. As your two hands are lifted. Anyone that's remained on the same spot for more than one month. For more than two months. For more than a year. He cannot, even if you don't have faith, my faith will work for you. At the sound of your amen, let the force of the Holy Ghost move you forward. Today is your last day on that spot. Today is your last day on that spot. Today is your last day on that spot. I say move forward by fire. Move forward by fire. Move forward by fire. I announce again, I don't know who I am praying for. No member of your family will be called a black sheep. Katabala, I call it a, any member of your family that lost your purpose, that lost your focus. At the sound of your amen, let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. Who struck two of your family members with stroke at the same time? Stroke at the same time. Two family members down with stroke. At the sound of your amen, we command, let them be healed right now. 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 Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. Let your image turn. I hear broken pelvic bone. At the sound of your image, let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Every fibroid under the sound of my voice, we command melt by fire. Melt by fire. Melt by fire. Melt by fire. Anyone whose two hands are lifted, that the enemy altered the calendar of your life. At the sound of your image, I announce, let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. I need you to call your name and say, Jerry, 
say arise shine your joyful days are here call your name against say Jerry arise shine your joyful days are here turn that read again Jerry arise shine your joyful days are here I decree take your garment of celebration take your garment of joy take the fullness of the prophecies of God over your life the fallow grass are broken it's a new season it's a new day all doors are open remembered by God receive it receive it receive it the Egyptians you saw before you will see them no more you will see them no more let your amen rise let your amen rise somebody shout my joyful days are here my joyful days are here my joyful days are here let your amen thunder let your amen thunder let your amen thunder I call us on the way back to your seat can you keep declaring it my joyful days are here my joyful days are here Rekotona Ishakata Rabbi Adasuka Eshebe for the Egyptians you saw before you will see them no more my joyful days are here he has gone ahead to make every crooked path straight my joyful days are here and upon this mountain shall the Lord make a feast of far things I call a shadow, I call a basin, Recotada, a Shabada, Isakota, a Labiada, a Seminenico, Zekolata, a Shabadia, a Cotole, Rabiada, a Shabada, a Cotole, Rabiada, let a believer turn thy louder, Amen. Shande Becorosia, Calabarababa Sindera, wherever you are, Kente Beleboshia. Can you lift up the symbol of what you do for a living? Whatever is a symbol of what you do for a living, lift it up before the Lord as you're returning back to your seat. Lift it up before the Lord. Reken neba shuda bala, reketi bala baba sinde koroshada. Whatever that was missing in that business, missing in that career, missing in that ministry, Koloshada. And let the God of seven years in one day. The God of ten years in one day. The God of good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. Ah, the sound of your amen. I announce. Let him release your evidence right now. I say receive it right now, 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 let your amen turn now. With your own mouth, what you have been lifted before the Lord, I want you to turn and say, my father, my father. I want you to shout in, my father, my father. Create a space for me. Say, my father, create a space for my career. Create a space for my business on a higher ground. On a higher ground. I want you to say it again. Say, my father, create a space for my career, for my business business on a higher ground I need you to say my father I reject the level I'm in I reject the level I'm in I reject the level I'm in say right now I rise 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 let your amen turn the louder I heard the sound of your amen. Let new doors open. Let new help us enter. Let new window favor rest. Right now. Right now. Right now. Powers that frustrate careers and businesses. I heard the sound of your amen. Let them be frustrated over your life. 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 Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Even as we are here right now the lord is putting your name in the hearts of kings the lord is putting your name in the hearts of kings the lord is putting your
your name in the hearts of kings. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. As you have, whatever you do for a living, lift them before the Lord. At the sound of your amen, we brand your career with glory. I'm not sure you understood what I just prayed right now. If your amen will turn there again, I announce we brand your career with glory. We brand your business with glory. We brand your ministry with glory. Receive it. Receive it. Let the glory speak. 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 Let your amen turn There will be no more questions in your career there will be no more idleness the season of more it has come receive it receive it receive it help me shall fire listen any strong man any strong woman that will stand on the way I say let me see how you will rise at the sound of your amen let the white wind of the Lord blow them out of the way let your image turn. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Somebody shall fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. I don't want to know why God put this in my spirit. But I lift up your right hand. Say today. Say between the remaining days of October and November. Say any disease. Any terminal disease that wants to arise in my body. Somebody turn and say I shake it off. Turn and say I shake it off. Turn and say I shake it off. I don't know who this prayer is for, but I know you are here. I want you to lift up your right hand again. I'm trying to say today, in the remaining days of October to November, say any terminal disease that wants to arise in my body, say right now, I shake it off. I shake it off. Don't fall off. Fall off. Fall off. Fall off. Fall off. Fall off. Let me hear you turn the fire. I announce it is done. I announce it is done. Let your amen thunder like fire. Everybody lift up your two hands. Whether you have a child or you do not have a child. For powers that reduce the destinies of children. At the sound of your amen. Such powers are broken in your bloodline. I don't know the people I'm praying for but your children will not service demonic transactions they will not bear the burden of what they do not know that altar where they are reinforcing attack against your children in order to make them watch nothing at the sound of your amen let it be broken everybody lift I don't know why God is leading me this way any spoiler any spoiler any spoiler any spoiler we don't care whether they are demons whether they are but any spoiler keep a talashaya record that will look at what god is doing in your life and say it will not happen at the sound of your amen we command let the spoiler be spoiled i wish your amen would turn that louder let the spoiler be spoiled I don't know who you are you didn't even sleep last night because of the health of your loved one you didn't sleep last night but at the sound of your amen let there be an instant healing right now let there be an instant healing right now let there be an instant healing right now let your amen turn down I don't know who you are but they're saying that it is, it, is, it is a congestive heart failure but by the power that raised Jesus from the dead I command let it be reversed right now 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 can somebody turn the fire can somebody turn the fire please I don't know why we're making this prayer but lift up your right hand say my father my father say any parts that I am on that is not your will for my life say my father pull me out say oh Lord I will not die on the wrong path. If you believe it, don't die louder. Amen. 
Can your amen thunder louder? Can your amen thunder louder? Can your amen thunder louder? Can your amen thunder? Can your amen thunder? Can your amen thunder? Oh, my Kibala Shiba Rabasun Yerba. Who is diverting what is coming your way? Kebala Nushaya. Kelebi Yadasa. I see this one standing like a traffic warden, diverting what is coming your way to the left and to the right. The devil is a liar. You have been wondering why it has not come up till now. It is being diverted. Shakapata. Akubalede. Ibalataya. Any demonic diversion at the sound of your amen. Let it be broken. I said, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let your amen turn. Let your amen turn. Women believing God for the fruit of the womb. I said, carry your babies. 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 What I hear in my spirit is that he led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. Keep on shire. He led captivity captive and he gave gifts unto men. There is a special grace in this service for men to carry their gifts. Beyond spiritual gifts. Beyond kingdom gifts. Whatever this heart has desired. On the sound of your ear, all your nose, carry them right now. Repeat after me, say I'm a giant. Say I was made for more. I want you to call your name, say Jerry. Say rise now. Say rise now. Say any garment I have accepted to wear of confinement, any garment of average I've accepted as my place. Say I refuse it now. Say I refuse it now. Call your name, say Jerry. Say I was made for more. Say I was made for more. Say right now, I call for lifters. Say I call for lifters. I call for men and women with a mandate to lift men. Where are you? Say arise right now. Come into my destiny. Let your amen thunder. Wherever you are right now, people of God, would you quickly open your scriptures to the book of First Kings? We're in the book of First Kings, chapter 21. The devil is a bastard. First Kings chapter 21. And we're going to read from verse 1 all the way down. We're going to read from verse 1 to verse 14. Or maybe for context sake, up to verse 15. Like a mass choir, keep on the shiara. We're going to read together at the count of three. Keep on the I don't know why I'm led to declare this, please. But allow me, any helper the Lord has sent to you, that is delaying to help. We put them under divine pressure. From now to the next 48 hours, your name will ring in their head. And they will deliver on what God has said. Whoever took away your paper so that it will no longer count. At the sound of your amen, I decree it is reversed. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. Between now and the next 10 days, God will use you to break a pattern that has never been broken. It will be loud. The news stations will report about it. Whoever I am speaking to, receive it right now. Shake it every other sir. We read the book of First Kings, chapter twenty-one, and we read from verse one all the way down to verse fifteen. People of God, like a mass choir, can we read together one, two, three? And it came to pass. After these things, that Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel, hard by the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. And Ahab spake unto Naboth, saying, Give me thy vineyard, that I may have it for a garden of herbs, because it is near unto my house. 
And I will give thee for it a better vineyard than it. Or if it seem good to thee, I will give thee the worth of it in money. And Nebot said to Ahab, The Lord forbid me that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee. And Ahab came into his house heavy and displeased because of the word which Nebot the Jezreelite had spoken to him. For he had said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my fathers. And he laid him down upon his bed and turned away his face and will eat no bread. But Jezebel his wife came to him and said unto him, Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest no bread? And he said unto her, Because I speak unto Nebo the Jezreelite, and said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money, or else, if it please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. And Jezebel his wife said unto him, Dost thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise and eat bread, and let thine heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard of Nebot the Jezreelite. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name and sealed them with his seal and sent the letters unto the elders and to the nobles that were in the city dwelling with Nebot. And she wrote in the letters saying, Proclaim a fast and set Nebot on high among the people and set two men, sons of Belial, before him to bear witness against him saying, Thou didst blaspheme God and the king and then carry him out and stone him that he may die. And the men of his city, even the elders and the nobles, who were the inhabitants in his city, did as Jezebel had sent unto them. And it was written in the letters which she had sent unto them. They proclaimed the fast and set Nebot on high among the people. And there came in two men, children of Belia, and sat before him. And the belly, men of Belia witnessed against him, even against Nebot, in the presence of the people, saying, Nebot did blaspheme God. And the king, then they carried him forth out of the city and stoned him with stones that he died. Then they sent to Jezebel saying, Nebot is stoned and is dead. And it came to pass when Jezebel heard that Nebot was stoned and was dead, that Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise, take possession of thy vineyard of Nebot the Jezreelite, which he refused to give thee for money, for Nebot is not alive but dead. Our Father, in the next few minutes, I ask that you make your word and your will known unto us. Let there be none of any man but all of you. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. Let it be all about you. And let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. People of God, before you take your seat, allow me to decree and declare that any Jezebel that comes to say that in the remaining days of this year that what the Lord has given to you shall be collected and the sound of your amen I announce let it be broken right now I say let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let your amen turn down Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. You know I hate Jezebel with all my might. You, you know I don't like anything that represents wickedness and, 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 and unjust acts you know, uh, that are not of the Lord. However, let me bring out to you that if there is any woman who knows how to use power, it is Jezebel. How does a king not know how to use his own power? But then again, it was Jezebel that knows how to use his power. Ah, Pastor, why are you talking about Jezebel? Are we supposed to learn from Jezebel? Let me remind you, people of God, it is important that you realize that the Bible says that the children of this world are wiser than the children. Am, am I communicating? So people of God, do not let your destiny carry so much power and you don't know how to use it. Sir, do you know, oh my goodness, let me not go there. That's not my message. Do you know that? The, the, for, for Jezebel to begin to use the power, he looks at, he asks, he asks, he asks Ahab, I mean, you govern the whole place and you don't know how to use it. Jezebel said, let's use leadership. We will begin from the elders. Look at what these elders should do. Set it up. Bam, we already have it going. People of God. Jezebel was territorial in the mindset. Unfortunately, the present church is caring about our corner. But when the demons want to act, they become territorial.
territorial. Unfortunately, what they do territorially will affect you in your corner. Am I communicating? Call your name and say, Jerry. Say, arise. Say, take over territories. I want you to say it again. Say, Jerry. Say, this is what the Lord is saying to you. Say, arise. Say, take over territories. If I spoke about you, can you thunder it louder? Amen. Even that amen is not sure that you are territorial enough. I say, let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. People of God, this was a woman who saw him, this guy had a house near Ahab and then he, he had the, his vineyard near Ahab. And Ahab begins to look at Naboth and says to Naboth, you know Naboth, I need you to give me your vineyard uh, because it is near to my own. In other words, only kings can live here. So you are not royalty. So dispose of what you have. And Nebot says it doesn't work like this. All of us must be great. And Nebot says, sir, listen, you're in your own house. My fathers gave me this. King, let me remind you the implication of this. If I give this to you, it is not about the vineyard. You have broken a pattern of generational blessing. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Because you're going, he says, King, it's not about the vineyard. It's about the fact that this is what our fathers handed over to our fathers. And our fathers handed over to our fathers. And then this is how it got to us. So if I give you this, I will have nothing to hand over to the generation next. Let me begin by saying this. Number one. You see your joyful days. At the sound of your amen, it shall be generational. Even your amen doesn't sound like you understood what I said. I say your joyful day shall be generational. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the Let your amen turn the Let your amen turn the And people of God, understand, let me begin from the beginning now. Ahab had one thing in his mind I want to turn your vineyard into a vegetable garden I want to use it to plant herbs I did this your vineyard understand that in the Bible times Karabosha, the vineyard was a measure of value it was a measure of money it was a description of who had and who did not have and th this guy looks this man into the eye say I want to turn your wealth into vegetable I want to turn your word into vegetable. Even the word vegetable itself is annoying. People of God, I want to turn whatever you represent. You know the keeper, the Sokolosha, Rebi Adasukatanaba, Shabada. You know the reason why some people learn the Bashada. Too many things are popping up in my spirit at the same time. You know the reason why some of us are where we are because you allowed the devil to exchange what belongs to you. Kiparadu Shadaba, your vineyard was reduced to a vegetable garden. People of God, because if you understand the spirit of Ahab, the spirit of Ahab takes your vineyard and turns it into a vegetable garden. Raise your voice and turn the fire. The spirit of Ahab looks at your prayer life, takes it and turns it into prayerlessness. The spirit of Ahab looks at the glorious destinies of your children and makes them average. And just makes them average. The spirit of Ahab looks at the seed of greatness inside of you. Kepala waters it down. You become like an everyday person. The spirit of Ahab, Kepala Shada, looks at your beauty, your favor, your certificate, Irabasha, and makes it tissue paper out of them and then it amounts to nothing the spirit of Ahab looks at the speed that you started with and reduces it to nothing people of God you literally begin to watch your vineyard become a vegetable you begin to copala shibana you begin to watch kipana the glorious destinies God has given you become nothing but Ahab let us read the riot act for you this morning kipala shadaya ekola daya there will be no reduction of destinies. I wish your amen would turn the louder. Somebody lift up your right and say, Today, any reduction around my life, around my family, around my children, can I hear you turn the fire? 
you need to prophesy this look at your neighbor say neighbor say neighbor let me prophesy to you say your vineyard will never become a vegetable if you believe it let me hear your amen let me hear the sound of your amen say neighbor say the hand of the lord is upon your life say your health will never become a vegetable your finances will never become a vegetable if you believe it under a louder amen say to your neighbor say neighbor we are river they have exchanged it say today we reverse it we we reverse it. 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 Let your amen thunder. Lift up your right hand if you understand this message and if it sounds like your own with a loud voice. Can you thunder? Give me back my vineyard. I didn't hear that voice. I need you to scream it louder again. Give me back my vineyard if you know there is more to happen in your life and what you are seeing does not look like the more can you shout it give me back my vineyard shout it again give me back my vineyard give me back my vineyard give me back my vineyard if you believe it thunder it louder amen i am now take it back 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 let your amen thunder take your seat for one second shanda but give me back my vineyard Give me back my marriage. Give me, give me back. Give me, give me, give me back. Give me back my finances. Give me back the glorious destinies of my children. Keep Allah. You will not turn my vineyard into a vegetable garden. And people of God, you know, Ahab had choices, made choices for Nebot. And Ahab said to Nebot, you know what? The problem I have is that I can give you another vineyard, but I don't like where your own is positioned. let me say this to you greatness when it is not well positioned can look like mediocrity talent when it doesn't have visibility will look like a waste of time this was what ahab was trying to suggest and say i will still give you vineyard but it will not be positioned near greatness shekoto labara I will still give you vineyard. You will still go and acquire certificates. More. But it will mean nothing to your life. You will still go and look in the mirror and see like you're pretty. Ahab said, I will give you another vineyard, but I will not want it to be well positioned. I came because, you know, let me tell you some of you, your joyful news has already been released. Listen, but let me tell you the problem. There is no positioning you are not well positioned people of God people of God there's a positioning now, now, now look at what he told Saul after Saul was anointed as you go you'll find two men by the sepulchre of Rachel by that Rachel sepulchre and they will give you they, they will tell you that oh you know the asses you seek they have been found if you move again you find three men going to the temple people of God and one will be carrying wine the other will be carrying goats and the other will be carrying loaves of bread three loaves of bread but one of them only one of them only one of them will give you two loaves of bread people of God. So even though there are three men, you don't require everything three of them are carrying. Positioning people of God. Because three men, the, the worst thing that can happen to you is that you meet three men, the Lord said take love from them, you collected wine. Positioning people of God at that point in time when you collect wine and be, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean to say it the way it is, before you will get to where you are supposed to meet the band of prophets, you are already drunk. Am I communicating? I pray for you. In the remaining days of this year, Kabbalah, let the Lord position you for exploit. That amen does not sound like you heard what I said. 
I say receive your position in her. Receive your position in her. The Lord positions you for more. Positions you for evidence. Positions you for results. Positions you for answers. Positions you for answers. Positions you for open heaven. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. I want you to call your name. Say, Jerry, you are well positioned. Can your amen turn the louder? Call your name again. Say, Jerry, you are well positioned. If you believe in, let your amen scatter the gates of hell. And as your two hands are lifted, powers that dislocate men, dislocate them from their answers, dislocate them from their evidence. Ah, the sound of your amen, I announce, let them be broken right now. Let them be broken right now. Let them be broken. 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 Take your seat. Listen, I need to warn Nebot here. Never, ever reply the Ahabs of this world without spiritual capacity. Did you hear what I just said? All that Nebot had was mouth. Man who is about to enter their joyful days. Let me say this to you. Let it never be said that all that you are was just ordinary words you said. Let there be that there is something else working for you beyond your English. Let it be said there is something else working for you. You look at a, a, an Ahab, you challenge an Ahab. Sir, life has gone spiritual. Did you hear what I just said? Let it be said. Life is not the accumulation of certificates. It is more spiritual than that. Let it be. You confronted, like you literally confronted Ahab, and there was no backing anywhere. Ahab was going to get home, and Jezebel said, What is that? He says, This one. He said, What? What's that? He says, It's not a problem. Wrote a letter in Ahab's name, circulated it to the elders, told them what to do, and that was how that guy died people of God because he had no idea that when you confront Ahab make sure you have a private altar did you hear what I just said when you confront Ahab make sure that you have a private altar understand that Ahab is only a face your confrontation is actually with Jezebel am I communicating Ahab is only a face. Your confrontation is only with Jesus. Listen, people of God, let me tell you this. So when eventually Naboth died, the Spirit of God, I mean, the, there was a prophetic word that said, oh, you see, the way that uh, where, um, you killed uh, Naboth, that is exactly where Jezebel will die and the dogs will lick out. They said, I looked at it and said, wow, that's a good one. That's a good prophecy. But people of God, Naboth has already died. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. People of God, I will not be part of those that prophecy will visit after you are dead. Am I communicating? Sir, anybody that wants to end your life prematurely, <laughs> the Bible says, he that digs a pit will fall into it. If your amen will thunder, let them take your place. I wish your amen will thunder louder than that. I say, let them take your place. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. I, I, I have a lot to say. I'm still in the introduction. But I, I just probably will find a way to end. People of God, notice carefully that all that Jezebel was gearing was to use some people, set up a system. If you go through the scripture, I give you, Google is a friend. Go and check. There are these men that are called sons of Belial. People of God, they are always appearing in different situations. He said, go and find these sons of, some people call them worthless men. Some people call them foolish men. Some people call them accusers. Some people, so whenever you wanted to do dirty jobs, people of God, the sons of Belial are always available. So they are satanic systems that perpetuate evil. So Jezebel said, we don't need to look for those that will do this. Just, there's already a system in place that will help us perpetuate this thing. Sir, let me say this to you. Whenever the devil wants to prolong negativity anywhere, 
in families, among the people. What the devil does is to create a system. Let me say this to you. If something, a negative thing has lasted in your life more than necessary, people of God, stop looking at the situation. Sit back and ask yourself, what system is prolonging this thing? Now, people of God, some of you do not even know that you are the one that is creating the system. So, people of God, you have probably normalized a system of wrong confessions. So, you are the ones creating the system or you have normalized. There's just some a system. So, you need to look beyond the situation. Start asking yourself. Some of those systems are ancestral. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Some of those systems are mindset. Some of those systems, so the sons of Belial, Jezebel just gave a word and said, look at the sons of Belial. They won't just handle this situation. Sit back and ask yourself, who are the sons? What is the system that is perpetuating this thing? If you can find the system, people of God, the bondage will be broken. Am I communicating? So, but unfortunately, if you don't break the system, the issue will still be staring you at the face. Am I communicating? Can we pray against systems? Rise on your feet. Lift up your right hand. At the sound of your amen, I decree any system of negativity, any system that perpetuates the wrong thing around you, at the sound of your amen, I announce let it be broken right now. I say let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. If you believe this prayer, can you turn down your amen seven times? Would you put together your offerings, your tithes and your partnership and lift it up before the Lord? In streams of joy, we stand to give to God because we understand that we are offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So put together your offerings. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership are lifted before the Lord. For what our God cannot do Start before the Lord. This is the last Sunday of the month. And such a joy to know that God has been faithful. Can you just wave your offerings, your tithe, and your partnership? We stand to give to God in this house. You can't be coming here every Sunday and I keep repeating the same thing. Can you rise on your feet with your offering? It's a protocol of our house. Can you wave, make it a wave offering? Make it a wave. Your offering, your tithe, and your partnership. For as many who are saying, God, I'm not going to eat my tithe. Let the blessings of those who have honored God with their offerings, their tithe, and their partnership be your portion. Amen. The devourer is rebuked for your sake Amen. and windows of heaven are opened Amen. that there will not be room enough to contain. Let your amen turn the louder. Amen. Go ahead and drop your offerings. Once you drop your offering, you might as well take your seat in the presence of the Lord. People of God, we are entering into the last days of October. Come Monday and Tuesday on the altar of fire, it shall be Elroy, the God that sees me. Who is excited about Elroy? Please come this Monday and Tuesday, you're going to be coming with the pictures of what you desire from God. Download pictures of what you desire from God. Keep it ready beside your device as we pray on Elroy. And people of God, Tuesday is already the last um, day of the month. And then again, excitedly, people of God, Wednesday is the first of uh, November. For what our God cannot do. Okay, people of God, next Sunday in church will be the first Sunday of November. It is going to be communion service. And it is going to be anointing service. And the theme of our service is God of the 11th hour. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say God of the 11th hour. And people of God, let me not go there now. It's happening in all our four services and it's both our communion and anointing service. 
people of God, our word and fire service, if God be for us, we are entering into the third week. And time once again is 6 p.m. I don't need to tell you what God is doing. I don't need to tell you. People of God, make yourself available. Discipleship classes will hold tomorrow by 6 p.m. here in church. All dedications have been scheduled for the 12th of November, second week in November. Our church building project is still ongoing. Account details are on the screen. Please ensure that you are a part of the project. Partnership forms are also available at the inquiry desk right outside the auditorium. You can partner with us. Book CDs and MP3s um, of our Man of God's messages are also available. And people of God, right about now, would you let me welcome those who are in Streams of Joy for the first time? Today is your first time of being in Streams of Joy, Abuja. We want to welcome you. Just celebrate them while they rise on your feet. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Those who are in church for the first Wow. Wow. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. And while they remain standing for a few seconds, we want to say that we love you and we appreciate you. Thank you very much for being a part of our house and a part of our life. Thank you very much for walking through our doors. My name is Pastor Jerry Azy and I'm the lead pastor of Streams of Joy International. On behalf of the entire pastoral leaders and members of the church, we consider your presence here one of the most amazing things that happened to us. Thank you so much for being a part of us. And we want to say may God bless you and may God honor you. The ushers must have slipped in a form into your hands, so we require that you fill out your details and the forms that the ushers have given you and hand it into an usher before you leave for two reasons we want to get across to you and we want to keep you in our prayers thank you so much for being a part of our lives thank you so much for bringing a lot of grace and candor to our service today thank you so much because we believe that you're coming here today would never have been a coincidence neither was it a happenstance but god ordained your steps to be here so that you can be part of our family and enjoy the fullness of the divine and supernatural possibilities we have in the father thank Thank you so much for coming. Church, please, all I require to do right now is for you to fill out your details in the forms that the ushers have given you and hand it into an usher before you leave for two reasons. We want to get across to you and we want to keep you in our prayers. Church, can we celebrate them while they take their seats in the presence of God? <laughs> celebrate them the way you'll be celebrated. I do know there are people here today is your first time but you're saying pastor jerry i've already made up my mind this is going to be my church i'm going to worship god here i like what god is doing here i like all that god is making happen here and if that sounds like you or maybe since you've started attending church i've never prayed for you if that sounds like you can i see you wave your hands those who are saying pastor it might be my first time but i've made up my mind this is going to be my church wow wow can you come out here let me pray for you church can you celebrate them while they come out can you come out here let me pray for you celebrate them don't stop celebrating them don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Celebrate this awesome people. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Wow. 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 Church, let's keep celebrating these amazing vessels while they come. That's the way we celebrated you too, the day you came. And as you celebrate them, your miracles are not, wow. Look at them coming. Look at them coming. Keep celebrating them, church. Keep celebrating them while they come. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep Keep celebrating them. Hallelujah. While we wait on the rest to rejoin us here, we want to say that we love you and we appreciate you. Thank you for choosing um, to identify with this commission and say, Pastor, this is going to be home for me. I'm going to pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, I decree, let the hand of the Lord be strong upon your life. Let the evidence of his grace be made manifest in your life like never before. And I decree, let whatever that flows in the DNA of this ministry, let the same be made available to you. I decree it is a new season. It is a new season. Receive of the boundless grace of God. Receive of the fullness of God. And I decree your life will never be the same again. Whatever that followed you to this place has been broken. What is following you out of here will be the evidence and the miraculous. Nothing missing and nothing broken. I decree it is done. I prophesy your joyful days are here. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Thank you so much. All I require to do right now is to fill out your details and the forms that the ushers have given you and hand it in to an usher before you leave for two reasons. We want to get across to you and we also want to keep you in our prayers. Thank you for being a part of us. Thank you so much. All I need you to do is that you continually make sure that you fill out your forms and drop it off at the inquiry desk because just maybe within the week you might just get a call from Pastor Jerry. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. Wherever you see me, feel free to stop me. In Guagualada Market, in Wuse Market, wherever. Thank you so much. We love you and we appreciate you. May God honor you for me and exceed you. Is it okay if I give you a virtual hug? Is it okay? All right. God bless you. Church, can we celebrate them while they return to their seats? Celebrate them. Have you been blessed by God today? Would you rise on your feet wherever you are and lift up your two hands to God? I decree over your life that this week will be one of your best weeks so far. Even that amen is not so sure. Hear me as I hear the Lord. You will scream for joy this week. Doors you never imagined are going to be opened unto your destiny. I decree the hand of the Lord is upon you. Shy. The God that does wonders that make men bow before him. Let the same God visit you in 24 hours. By this time tomorrow, let there be a shout of joy around you. With your right hand lifted, can you declare, say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Amen. If you love the Lord, say, my joyful days are here. Would you walk up to 14 people and tell them my joyful days are here? You ain't forever. Your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. You Declare my joyful days are here. Arabako Shayada. These are the last days of October. Your month of surplus, supernatural surprises. It can still happen now. Declare my joyful days are here. Eria Kapandia. Esheke Pradaya. Prophesy it over the remaining days, the remaining hours of October. My joyful days are here. Once has the Lord spoken and twice have we heard it. What shall divert? What shall delay? For in Revelation 12, a great wonder appeared in heaven. A woman was in the season of her joyful days. Traveling to bed, a dragon arose, a rakapayada, a shatayada, a reketayada, a shatayada. But she brought forth her man child. He was caught up with God, a rakapayada. Can you pray? Can you prophesy? Like you know that you did not come here by chance or circumstance. Eka, brother, your joyful 
days are being caught up in the throne of God. Arabayada, Ekabalada, for Jairus came, Eliataya, to Jesus, Elebrekata, and some others came. They said, Why trouble us thou? The master, thy daughter is dead. It does not matter if things got worse before service today. I come with a word like Jesus, be not afraid, only believe, be not afraid, only believe, be not afraid, only believe. Ayaga Bradashaya, you have come to the right place. Akabraneata Eshanemeneka in this house, what God cannot do does not exist. Akayada Eriakaba Eshalada before the God of the fire altar. Cancers melt, HIV disappears, Ariakapa, even the dead come back to life. Alakapayada, Eshananana. Can you lift up your hands? Just begin to thank God. Make your thanksgiving very prophetic because He that led you from the first of October till this very hour cannot leave you halfway because He that ordered your steps into this place of encounter will not tire let you go without your evidence thunder what god cannot do does not exist thunder my joyful days are here and if you know your joyful days are here celebrate jesus celebrate your father my joyful days are here your joyful Everybody, praise the Lord. We are here to praise our God. 
We exalt your name. Thank you, Lord. Streams of joy. Like joyful people, it's time to speak into our weeks. And you're going to declare with me and say, On Monday, I am in my joyful days. The Lord has lifted the burden off my shoulders. No more hard labor. I have been raised out of the dust. Say, my troublers have become my footstool. My expectations have become my results. Shout amen. amen. On Tuesday, say it's a new season. The old shall not find expression in my life. Say, I wear a garment of joy. I wear a garment of joy. A crown of glory is on my head. The Lord has set me up for higher favors. It's a season of back-to-back -back celebrations. Shout amen. On Wednesday, my joyful days are here. Whatever brought me joy will not cause me pain. Arrows of shame return to sender. Shout fire. Ordinances sponsoring negativity reversed by fire. I build a wall of fire around my family and business. Shout amen. On Thursday, ancient gatekeepers recycling misfortune. Shout fire. Gates of brass confining my joyful news. Shout fire. My joyful days will not be exchanged. I declare a sudden outbreak of joy in my family. Say, I am in my joyful days. On Friday, my joyful days are here. I walk away from all demonic dryness. The clouds have given rain on my destiny. I am a receptacle of the former and later rains. My harvest has exceeded expectations. Shout amen. On Saturday, my joyful days are here. I am in a journey of bliss. The best of my life has just begun. Say my joyful season has been activated with pleasures forevermore. I hear the shouts of joy, streams of joy. How will you shout? How will you shout? Shout! Shout! Why should I feel discouraged? Why should I shout?
Jesus, yes, Jesus, you are my joy. Yes, you are joy like no one. You are my joy, joy like no one. Yes, reaches to me. Because hey, in the fullness of your in the power of your name, Jesus, you lift me up, you lift me up, you lift me up, Jesus, in the fullness, in the power of your name, you lift Just go ahead and worship him. He is our joy. Our joy is not a situation. Our joy is a person. And that person is God himself. They don't know what he means to us. They don't know who he is to us. They don't know who we are bragging about. Go ahead and worship the God who is our joy. In the name of Jesus. Can you turn down and say, my joyful days are here. Say, my joyful days are here. You know why I'm convinced that your joyful days are here? It's because God is going to do two things. Uh, that we confirm to you that your joyful days are here. In Numbers chapter 16, uh, Korah and a number of people came against Moses and Aaron uh, to question their authenticity. And God answered them by opening the ground uh, and swallowing them. Uh, in chapter 17, uh, God wanted to show future Gesehers. Uh, and he brought the rod of Aaron uh, and 11 others. Uh, and Bible said by the following day, the bud, the rod of Aaron budded, blossomed, and fluted, and that was the final bus stop to every argument. So God is going to do something in your life that will shut naysayers. God will do something in your life that will give you an evidence that cannot be doubted, so that He will consolidate the fact that your joyful days has come. If you know that God is going to do that thing that cannot be argued. If you know that God is going to do that thing that nobody can question. If you know that God is going to consolidate your joyful days. Can you lift your right hand and say my joyful days are here. Amen. God has already given people 
evidences that consolidate their joyful days. We are going to have with Jesus joyless welcome of their Gary Okezie, Nkechi Jerry, and Olusha Gunabiodun. If you know that you're next to testify, can you put your hands together as they come forward? Come on, celebrate, celebrate. It is how you'll be celebrated that you celebrate. Put your hands together. All right. Excuse me. You tell us your name and what Jesus did for you. Good morning, church. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Sobiagiri. I came all the way from UK, London. Praise the Lord. I've just got a few testimonies. Um, multiple testimonies I've enjoyed in this platform. Um, my very first testimony when I joined NSPP, the morning prayer, was I was um, suffering from uh, partial right eye blindness. Like literally with my right eyes, I cannot see. One morning, we, I joined the NSPP, the morning prayers. And after the morning prayers, after the communion, after testimony, after everything, Papa just declared, spirit of blindness be reversed. And then I raised my right hand, touched my eyes, and I said, amen. And that was literally it. It was gone. In fact, I didn't realize it was gone. A few days later, I, was, I realized that I could actually see properly. And I want to give God all the glory. The one that happened recently was my little boy, E6. Suddenly, this boy began to limp. He was limping with his right leg. And at first, we thought, okay, maybe he fell at, at school or hit his feet leg somewhere. He was limping. And then it progressed. It was, it was progressing. It was painful. The limping continued. We took him to the hospital. They did x-ray, blood tests, did everything. They didn't see anything. And this time, I was bitter and was angry. Papa, I blessed. Thank you, sir. I remembered one of weeks past. You did you 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 used um, Isaiah forty-seven, and you said, "Oh, ye daughters of virgin of Babylon, and uh, sit on the dust. No more throne for you." I stood on that word. I was bitter, and I, I have never seen that passage. Maybe I've seen it, but I've never understood it that way. I heard on that, and I was using it. I said, "Sit on the dust." Every power that has come against my son. And to God be all the glory. On Tuesday morning, I joined an SPPD. And Papa made a declaration. He said, uh, I reverse every spirit of paralysis. And I said to myself, my son, this is not paralysis. But every weakness on your need, I receive strength. And one hour later, this boy began to walk. No money. Today, I give God all the praise. And I say, indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. Praise the Lord. Are you just keeping quiet? Two instant testimonies. Uh, instant ear yeah, open. Uh, the boy woke up instantly and walked. That shall be your own testimony and it shall come instantly in the name of Jesus. What God cannot do is a privilege to be in the house. Papa, I celebrate grace. My name is Nkechi Jerry and I'm from Spain, Malaga to preside. Uh, since joining the fire altar, it has been so amazing. My first testimony is my daughter have chicken pots. Doctor, uh, Papa made sure that instantly he went out. My second son, my first son, slow development. Papa prayed about it, he starts working. And I'm immigration challenge for seven years after accounting battles on her own. Papa made sure about immigration challenge. Instantly, the next day, I have a message from my lawyer that we win, they lose. Now, the bigger one, I was pregnant of my second son. And three months into that pregnancy, I start having bleeding. This bleeding is like when you dip your hand into the cooking pot, you know you cannot bring your hand alive from it. And even the, even the clot of blood that was pumping out was burning me. And I decided to call my husband, please help me. Nobody, I don't want anybody to pick the kids. Come and come back from work. And he came back from work. He took me to the hospital. We, we went to the bigger city because we live at Skirt of Town. So by, by the time we get to there, the doctor said to me that the baby is dead. That is why Sharaba Solo. That is why... The pain was so much. And they asked me, I said, what is the next procedure? They asked me to evacuate the baby. And Papa always made sure that there is one thing I learned in this altar. He said, if the devil strike before, 
They don't give up. They will come back again. And my second son, I gave birth to that son when he was eight months. It was, they said he's dead. And by the grace of God, he came back to life. Then, now I'm in the fire altar. The devil is a bastard. <laughs> and I said, and I said to the KK, what do you want me to say? She said, so I can evacuate the baby. I said, no. It's, you said he's dead. He said, I said, that is for you. The baby is alive. He said, Stan Mueto. I said, that is what you said. You said he's dead. He's not dead. He's sleeping. And they say, it's like this woman is getting out of her. I said, hold on, don't talk to me like that. And they said, you don't understand Spanish. I said, we all are Spanish people. I understand the situation. So they, they now called the consultants, elderly women. They now came, start uh, talking to me, calming me down. I said, I understand. Thank you. But I need to go. They said, no, I cannot go. They give me one hour to sit to think about it. I'm not thinking. My husband and my kids is waiting. So long story short, I decided to go. They said they're waiting for me. They start calling me to come back, calling my husband. And the paper they gave to me, I actually burnt it. After Papa said, turn it, I turn it. I didn't turn it low. I burnt it. And, and Papa said, uh, I give it to my husband. My husband is that kind of people. He belongs to an organization that they doesn't believe a miracle. They don't believe a dream. They don't believe all these things. He would tell me, say, listen to me. You are my wife. But I said, you are sick. The, the fever, all this dream revelation, you are sick. The fever is too much. I said, no problem. And uh, and after then, I went to my doctor. I, when my husband see the, everything, read it, he said, no, you can't, I don't want to, because they say your life is at stake. I said to, I said to my husband, no problem. My, my daughter is six years. She just hold my hand. He said, everything you lost shall return back to you. I say, amen. And that is what keep on going. In the night, this girl will wake me, say, so let's pray. We pray mercy prayer. We pray mercy prayer. Long story short, my doctor called me back and he sent me to Tuscan. This machine, it actually, if you are pregnant, you will not go into this machine. I went to this machine two different times and everything was clear. <laughs> everything was clear, no baby. I said, okay. I went back. He asked me to run another test. I run another test. When I run this test, he told me, say, listen, everything is clear. The day he called me that like, everything is clear, that night I prayed. And I said, my baby, turn him, turn him. I tapped my husband. I said, honey, I said, eh. nah, the boy, they, the thing they kick. He said, I said, I said, he said to me, are you okay? I said, no, I'm fine. He said, no, don't to call you say that uh, no baby, nothing, nothing. You said, if this baby is fine. I said, it's fine. This is for you. So long story short, I went to the hospital. And I said to my doctor, I said, I'm pregnant. He said to me, listen, I don't want this drama. I know you are a very funny person, but not this time around. <laughs> Beloved brother and sister, I said to him, I said, I'm serious, I'm pregnant. He said, do you want to get pregnant? I said, no, I'm already pregnant. He said, okay, lie down. With anger, I said, lie down. I lied down. He just touched my belly. He said, do not stop, Barasada. You are not pregnant. I said, ah, it's okay. At that minute, the grace fell upon me. I said to him, don't take your hand glove. Give me your hand. He said, I said, give me, give me to Manu. I take his hand. I place it in my stomach. Instantly, the baby started rotating. And, and the doctor said, keep us a key. What is going on here? I said, just exactly what you feel. That is how I'm feeling. He said, hold on. He now locked me inside the room. He ran upstairs. He bring me to go and run tests. He said, I've talked to the, doc, the midwife. And I went upstairs. Unknowingly, when my husband came to ask of me, he asked, asked my husband, your wife said he's pregnant. My husband said, yes. How many months? My husband said, you all say, I don't know. You are the doctor. You need to know. He said, no, you are the husband. Okay. At this time, I don't know what is. I, when I came back, I asked the midwife, come on, stars, what happened? He says, um, see or no? It's true. He's there or it's not there? He says, there. I know. I know it's there. Then he said, let's go to scanning room. We went to scanning room. He starts scanning with my doctor. Scan, scan. He said, no, it's fat. My doctor, look, I look at them. He called the elderly, mid, uh, med, the elderly woman, the midwife, and that one look. At that point, he put the heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. Hi, shakabo. After that, they test it. It's three, say it's three weeks. Uh -huh. Oh, God, they loud. He sent me. He sent me to the bigger hospital. Below, brothers and sister, under one hour, they said it's three weeks. We went to the bigger hospital. They said it's one month and three weeks. From that day, one week, two weeks, one week, two weeks. That is the time Papa always said, restoration, restoration. What you're afraid of will not happen. Carry everything that is dead. I grab all, both my own. Not be my own, I grab her. Carry your baby. So, this baby, I could have given birth to 
to 10 months, I could have given birth to October. October, it didn't come. All the water leak. Papa say, you are pregnant, the water is leak. Ha. I said to my husband, I said to my husband, honey, I know, I'm sure I didn't pee my, on myself, but the water that is coming out, I, I don't think, but coming out, we, 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 we will work on it. I drink coming, I drink it very, very well. Hey, I could have given birth to October, I don't come. December. I said to God, God, are you sure this baby my husband so that he will not mock me? Oh. Every time I say to your papa, papa, I jump, I jump. So, when I know it. So when I, on that day, on that day, I gave birth. Carry your baby. Papa said, carry your baby. I carry him more. I carry him big. I gave birth. They asked me, how many months? How long? I said, the story is long. You see, you could have gave birth in October. Now it's December. The whole conclusion is that, nah, children of God. Hallelujah. Can you see the evidence? This is the baby that they would have aborted. This is the baby that they would have flushed out. Are you seeing it? Are you just talking now? What our God cannot do. His name is Joshua Chukubuzo Jerry. Come on, shout. Celebrate the power of God. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Olusegun Akogun Abudu. I'm from Lagos. Uh, I'm an estate surveyor. What God cannot do? Please, let's, let's calm down. Yeah. What God cannot do does not exist. Um, I joined uh, the author of fire in uh, 2021 through my younger sister. And uh, God has been so amazing to me. In 2015, I ran into a business debt of 104 thousand dollars and uh, based on the rate of dollar I was meant to pay back in dollar not naira I begged for naira they said no dollar so I started paying back in dollars as money comes business became so sour there was no money nothing nothing again I had to go back to dust my bible go back to God that God helped me I called the clients I, I restituted and I told God I, about it also that God should just show me mercy Every day, I'm on the altar of fire. Whenever I'm in Abuja for business, I come to Streams of Joy. I join the early morning service. My friends will say, where are you going to? I'm going to church. They say, there's something wrong with you. I said, yes. You know, uh, fast forward to June. I've been servicing the debt since 2015. June uh, 2023, I was uh, taking a ride with one of my friends in Lagos. My phone rang. It was the client whom I was hoeing. And the last time I heard from him was 2015. He said he was going to send me to jail. I said, please hold on. I'm paying your money. I will pay as the fund comes. You know, so he called me. He said, Shergun, do you know who's talking? I said, yes. He said, how are you? Fine. He said, I, I've heard everything you've gone through, that I'm sorry. I'm canceling the debt. Don't bother about it. And people of God, I paid of $104,000. I was able to pay 30 something. I had $71,000 left to pay based on business. He said, sorry, I'm very sorry all what you've gone through. We have heard can all debts canceled. Tell me how you want me to put up the letter. And Papa is always saying, debt cancellation, I will claim it every time. I will decree into it, you know, that yes, this is for me, this is for me. He asked me, how do you want me to, to write the letter? I'll tell my manager to take it to court when the you guys are going to court. I told him he did, the, he did it. 17th of um, September, the, his lawyer, his manager came to court and they tendered the letter. I'm, I'm free from debt. I don't hold. I'm, I give glory to God. I'm so happy. I'm calm. What God cannot do does not exist. Glory be to God. Glory be to Pastor Jerry. I give God all the glory and I will not, glory be to God, I will not leave this altar. Here I remain. Thank you, Jesus. Church, do you know if you convert that money to Nigeria Naira in this current exchange rate, it is 78.1 million. That shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus. If you see that position, put your hands like this together for the Lord. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Let's go. Right here. One more side. I want to surrender to the Lord. Come on, do how many go side? I want to surrender to the Lord. Just one more time, I want to surrender to the Lord. Run it on, run it on, run it on, run it I'm 
she me fausare to when the spirit is on fire say live the me carry go i will surely out run i will surely out this is why Kosolua is involved 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 so i know this is to the noise When the spirit is on board Let me say what we say Live the man and go and go and go yeah. I will surely out for I will surely out for This is why all solo I just support in for in for So I no listen to the noise Let it go say my prayer Spirit is on board. And like John Levo, he's a one on my level. So we are more than able. Cause the spirit is on board. They always carry vessel, no need to shiva. Why? This is why. Consolua is involved. 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 So I don't listen to the noise. Plenty of shadows stay my heart. You go back to me again. You go me like say I need a stereo.
Follow you. We release your name in the atmosphere. Let celebration follow you. Right now, right now, right now. Let your image turn now. Today we announce beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, oil of joy for mourning. I come into praise. I come into praise. I come into praise for the spirit of heaviness. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Your will not bow your head down. In shame, you will not bow your head down in shame. The Lord prepares a table for you in the presence of your enemies. The Lord anoints your head with oil and your cup runs over. Receive it of the Lord, receive it of the Lord, receive it of the Lord. The days of your rejoicing, the days of your celebration, the days of your laughter, the days of the fullness of your joy, the days of carrying your evidence. I announce they have arrived 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 let your aim and turn the louder wherever you are can you lift what you do for a living to the Lord lift it before the Lord lift it before the Lord 
wherever you are left what you do for a living before the Lord the Lord gave me the 17 declarations in this service someone under the sound of my voice your second son is under severe witchcraft attack Ora, he started with screaming in the night right now he even screams in the day as if he's going mad as if he's going mad as the amen of this congregation was on thy command let the cycle be broken right now I wish your amen will thunder louder. I wish your amen will thunder louder. Shaki bala bara basande korosia alamena bosokotaya. I don't know who you are. Send the berekusha, but your God, God is delivering your mother from paralysis. The Lord is reversing the paralysis over your mother right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Between the hours of 10 a.m. to 12 noon Nigerian time, good news that you are not expecting on Wednesday shall enter your house. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let your amen thunder louder. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Kabbalah Disa. Everybody lift up your two hands. Echo Lord Abashaya. Cities that have rejected you. Cities. Some of you do not even know some cities. You are locked out of the city. You are locked out of the city. At the sound of your amen, I decree. Let the gates be open for you right now. I say let the gate of the city be open to you. Let the gate of the city be open to you. Let the gate of the city be open to you. Let the gate of the city be open to you. Let the gate of the city be open to you. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Kabarando kosotola. The spirit of God said I should speak against the spirit of rebellion in your house. Any spirit of rebellion in your house. I announce let it be broken right now. Let it be broken right now. I don't know who you are, but the Spirit of God said I should announce to you. Have I not told you? You will not die the way your father died. The Lord said, Do not be afraid. It will not happen. It will not happen. It will not happen. Let your amen turn the louder. Anyone with any prostrate issue here by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. The spirit of God is reversing any fungal infection. We command let it dry up by fire. Let it dry up by fire. Let it dry up by fire. For any arrow of memory loss, arrow of memory loss, arrow of memory loss, at the sound of your amen, I announce let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let, be reversed. let your amen thunder louder. Let your amen thunder this week you are getting that job what you will get will be bigger than what you anticipated I wish your amen will rise higher than it I say this week you are getting that job what you are getting will be higher than what you expected receive it of the Lord receive it of the Lord receive it of the Lord I don't know who I am praying for you will not make a mistake that will make your enemy relevant can I say it again over your life? You will not make a mistake that will make your enemy relevant. I want to say it again. You will not make a mistake that will make your enemy relevant. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Can I ask you a question before I declare? Can I ask you? Something is about to happen. After the service of your joyful days have arrived. Something is about to open up. You are going to get a big yes somewhere. The Lord is about to turn some things around. Let me ask you, how will you shout? How will you scream? How will you celebrate? Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Give the Lord a loud shout. Lift what you do for a living before the Lord. Lift it before the Lord as I speak the word of God over it. What you do for a living, lift it up before the Lord. At the sound of your amen, we position your business, your career. At the sound of your amen, we put it on the international scene. 
Hey, at the sound of your amen, with the agree over your businesses and your careers over the works of your hands, he can let it take over territories. At the sound of your amen, I decree, receive new opportunities, receive new ideas, receive the gift of good men, receive new opportunities, receive ideas, receive the gift of good men. Let your amen thunder, let your amen thunder. In seven days, in seven days, let the career, let the business receive seven years. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn the. You see, in that business and in that career, at the sound of your amen, no man will take your place. No man will take your place. Let your amen turn the. The Lord is creating a space for your business at the top, creating a space for your career at the top. Let your amen turn the. Let your amen turn the. Nobody will tell you sorry over your career. I wish your amen would turn the louder. Nobody will tell you sorry over your business. Receive a rhino, receive a rhino. Powers that get men stuck, that get men stuck, that get men stuck. At the sound of your name, let it be broken. Let it be broken. The Lord did not just promise you a career, a business, a work of the hand. He promised you one with the crown on your head. The Lord did not just promise you a career or a business. He said you will wear a crown on your head. At the sound of your amen, I announce we are the crown right now. 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 Let your amen thunder. Let grace begin to speak over the works of your hands. I did not hear the sound of your amen. Let grace begin to speak over the works of your hands. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Every pattern of loss in your career let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let your amen turn keep on the shadow any sacrifice made on earth against your career against your business let the earth reject the sacrifice let the earth reject the sacrifice let your amen turn a capatan that want to help that want to help that has capacity that has money that has wealth that knows the king at the sound of your amen let him enter your life right now let him enter your life right now let him enter your life right now let your amen turn ahead of people in the same career and business receive revelation ahead of them revelation ahead of them revelation ahead of them revelation ahead of them let your amen turn let your amen turn it will not be only one area all the doors are opening now. All the basha. I say all the doors are opening now. 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 Let your amen turn now. Another man will never reap the fruit of your labor. Another man will not reap the fruit of your labor. Let your amen turn now. Receive divine direction. Divine direction. Divine direction. Divine direction. Let your amen turn now. Lift it up before the Lord what you do in the remaining days of this year. Let it be an abomination unto the Lord. If your amen will thunder, may the Lord honor your career in a way you never expected. Receive a rhino, receive a rhino, receive a rhino, and for the very last time, I announce let there be multiple profitability, multiple profitability all around your career, all around your business, all around your ministry. Receive a rhino, can your amen turn the seven times? what god cannot do you didn't hear me say it i say what our god cannot do would you open your scriptures immediately to the book of matthew chapter 13. we're in the book of matthew chapter 13 hallelujah hallelujah matthew chapter 13 verse 44. people of god this is that week oh. this is that week I thought you were going to give the Lord a better shout of praise. Matthew chapter 13 verse 44. Like a mass choir at the count of three, can we read together? One, two, three. 
Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which when a man had found, he hid it. And for joy, thereof goeth and selleth all that he had and buyeth the field. Can we read it again? Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which when a man had found, he hid it and for joy thereof go it and sell it all that he had and buy it. Media, if you don't mind, if you show me message translation, you'll be the best thing that happened to me right now. Great. Thank you so much. So people of God, can we read together? One to go. God's kingdom is like a treasure hidden in a field for years and then accidentally found by... Somebody shall say accidentally. I don't know whether you understand that this treasure was found accidentally. If your amen will thunder right now, May you accidentally encounter treasure this week. Don't look at me like that. The Bible said the kingdom of heaven is like this. So people will wake up, they did not plan for it. So they will accidentally. It is not in your program. You didn't even know it was going to happen. Someone, why do I feel it's going to happen on Monday? accidentally 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 you will run into a helper accidentally the door will open accidentally they will approve it accidentally they will say yes accidentally there will be help accidentally they will open the door accidentally they will request for your account number accidentally there will be a heavy alert can your amen turn the louder? The finder is ecstatic. What a find. And proceeds to sell everything he owns to raise money and buy that field. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes, let there be none of any man but all of you. Jesus, we ask, make your will known. Make your word known. Let it be about you. Let your amen thunder louder. Take your seat in the presence of God. My assignment in this service is very brief. But help me look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor my joyful days are here. Look at your neighbor just in case they are not smiling. Say, even you, my neighbor. You cannot stop what is coming. Tell your neighbor what is coming is generational. Say, what is coming will wipe off debts. Say, what is coming will help the kingdom what is coming will position me where i truly belong if you understand it thunder a louder amen lift up your right hand again and thunder my joyful days are here can you shout like you know your joyful days are already here please allow me to start on this note people of god this guy that found the treasure in a field notice carefully as he found the treasure in a field he went and hid it and then eventually decides to buy the entire field. And people of God, the scripture continues like that. And this is where we arrived at. For joy, he went and bought it. And the Lord said, this is the way the kingdom of heaven is. Sir, do you notice that he never told anyone? Did you read through the scripture? Touch your neighbor say, he didn't tell anybody. <laughs> tell your neighbor, he did not tell anybody. Now touch your neighbor, say neighbor. In the season of your joyful news, learn how to keep quiet. Look at your neighbor again. See, learn how to keep quiet. Do you think I'm talking to you? Do you think I'm talking to you? Sir, when they have, the transaction is still cooking, keep quiet. When it has not yet become a reality, keep quiet. When you are walking out, don't go and tell them I'm expecting something. What I'm expecting. When it comes, I will buy your entire generation. People of God, unfortunately, some people are looking for what you are looking for. If they are not looking for it, they can go back and tell their relations. Did you hear what I just said right now? If the guy has not yet proposed, don't say anything. Even some proposals are not meant to be loud, but because proposal is not marriage. Do you understand what I am saying? So don't go and say, hey, now that they are proposed to me and all of that, people of God, learn how to keep it quiet. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Even your village people will not know until you tell them. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. 
Look at your neighbor, say your joyful days are here. Say some, some news, tell your neighbor some news are not meant for them. If you understand it, can you thunder it louder? Amen. If you understand it, can you scream a better? Amen. The Bible says that the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure yield in a field. Now, message translation says many years. Many years this treasure has been hidden in the field for many years. But yet there is a generation that uncovers what is hidden. So this young man belonged to that generation that says what my fathers could not uncover. What those ahead of me could not see, Kipala Shadia, Endicolo, treasures that eluded my father, treasures that my great grandfather could not see, Kipalada, I belong to that generation, Manaburakada, that will be able to uncover it. I belong to that generation that will be able to see it because the days kapa talosha joyful news joyful days days of celebration are here i call i announce that treasures hidden all these months from january up until october treasures that your father did not see treasures that nobody in that career has ever seen treasures that nobody in that line of business has ever seen uh, treasures uh, that your children never saw. Uh, get the little oil uh, at the sound of your amen. I announce, uh, let it be uncovered right now. I wish your amen would thunder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Somebody help me thunder. Say right now. I uncover. I uncover the treasures. Say treasures. Open up. Treasures. Open up. Treasures. Open up. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let your amen. People of God, treasures that since the past seven years nobody has ever uncovered. The idea that nobody has ever had. The way of doing things that nobody has ever done. The kind of wisdom of Basalia that is missing in our generation. And I see you showing up because it is the days of your joyful days. Rani Bakatala, Rabadaya. Many years they are looking for the treasure. Are they aware that you are the answer? Are they aware that you are the man? Kapala Shadaya, Rekotoledi, are the sound of your amen i announce receive right now 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 somebody turn and say i see the treasure i see the treasure i see the treasure i see the treasure let your amen turn now take yourself for one second kabbalah Shia. i see you getting it I see you seeing what they can't see. I see you getting an idea that will blow their mind. I see you implement it in a way that will shock them. I see all of a sudden the spotlight coming on you. I see your name resounding everywhere. I see, I see, as come my neck, Colossa, Elebea Rocosea, in the Barabasakata, Elebea the Shadaba, at the sound of your amen, I announce, let your eyes be open right now. Let your eyes be open. Let your eyes be open. Let your eyes be open. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Let me say this before I go on. It is easy to say that this guy that we're talking about in the scripture was able to find these treasures. But let me tell you, nobody, nobody. Now, in, 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 the, in the Bible times, even in the medieval times, so it's not just the Bible, people of God, treasures were hidden in the ground. People of God, let me say it differently. Google is a friend. Treasures were not hidden in the shallow earth. Did you hear what I just said right now? treasures were not hidden in the shallow earth. You know, as, you know how they dig? Eh? They dig even until now to find um, some um, um, uh, solid minerals, whether it is gold or whatever. You know how they dig to find those things under the earth. That was how these treasures were buried beneath the ground. So, sir, you see this guy? 
It's obvious that when you say, ah, pastor, you know, he accidentally, accidentally carried the treasure. But Sha, in the accident, there was a digging. Did you hear what I just said? I beg of you, if I'm pastoring you, make up your mind that superficial living is over. Make up your mind. Listen, if I've got to think, I've got, I've got to think deep. If, God, if I've got to walk, I need to walk deep. Don't just do things the way you usually do them. Sit back, think through them. Am I communicating? Tell yourself, I'm not going to... Be. Everybody comes up and they, brrr, and they go, no, there's no distinction in... Brrr. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Can we get a little more deeper with this? This thing that God has given to me, can I get deeper with my answer? Because there is no joke. People of God, there is a long line called average. In that place called average, everybody is shallow. But there is another line. Shabadeada. People of God, it is called distinction. Not many people are there. Because they are not ready to think deep. They are not ready to walk deep. They are not ready. So, sir, even if I like, let me keep declaring unto you, your joyful days are here. Joyful. You choose to be a shallow person. In your area of endeavor, sit back and say, God, I, I want to think deeper. I want to add deep. I want to stay on this assignment for the next one hour. And th there's no way you can be thinking about something that you're doing for a new idea will not come. Don't be satisfied with carrying file up and down. Don't be satisfied with their bringing papers on to you. I write memo here. You memo this person. Memo this. After memo, come with a fresh idea. The Bible says it's only deep that calls on to deep. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I'm deeper than I look. Because you have said this, I agree. Let the depth of revelation hit your mind. Hey, somebody. Out of the well, the depth of your spirit, let new ideas come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Let your amen turn around. Let your amen turn down. Call your name and say, Jerry, can you turn that dig some more? About a sin the Colossia Carabere say there has never been anybody that God gave a public glory that did not have a private digging. So I, I came to beg you, dig, dig some more. Kela, until we find the treasure, we are not stopping you. Kabbalah, but we're going to dig some more. What kind of digging will it take? Will it take more study? We are going to dig until we get our treasure. Kabbalah, the Shira. What will it take? Will it take prayers? We are going to dig until we find our treasure. treasure. Let me say this to you. Some of you got accolades, got laurels, got jewels from the Lord and you know you did not dig anything most times don't justify your status with your achievements because sometimes grace gave it to you I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying but however whatever grace brings grace gives but you need capacity and hard work to maintain it. Am I communicating? Sir, this guy had to do a little digging to find the treasure. Where, even though he was not looking for the treasure, but Isha was digging. He was digging. Maybe, be, and people of God, you know the Bible says treasure hid in the field. People of God, I'm afraid to say this. Joyful news will never find you in the bed. You know where your joyful days are? In the field. Did you hear what I just said? Look at your neighbor. Say, tell your neighbor, say, wake up. Say, go to the field. Say it again to your neighbor. Say, wake up. Go to the field. I don't know why God is putting this in my spirit right now. At the sound of your amen, any pattern of sickness that runs in your family, any pattern of sickness that has affected more than one member of your family, I don't know why I'm making this prayer, but as your amen will turn down, let it be terminated. I wish your amen would turn the louder. I say, let it be terminated. I cleanse it from your bloodline. I cleanse it from your bloodline. I cleanse it from your bloodline. Let the sound of your amen rise higher. Let the sound of your amen rise higher. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. 
The Bible says, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man had found, he hid it. People of God, remember that the treasure was hidden. When he found it, he did what? But thank God that he had sex. Because you hid what was hidden. That is you repeating a pattern that still kept the treasure where it was. But he said, I need to do things a lot more differently. I need to buy the entire field. Are you getting what I'm saying? I need to buy the entire field. If I buy this entire field, it will mean that the treasure is now mine. So sir, he was able to keep the treasure because if he picks up the treasure and is going out, people are going to find out. Why did you? So it became a pursuit of being territorial. People of God, I say this all the time. Of being territorial, not just looking for treasure. People of God, own the territory. There are treasures in it. Did you hear what I just said? I came to remind you, this is a time to, people don't just say, let my corner walk. I want where I am to walk. I want where I am to walk. So sir, let, 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 let me just bring this example. You can imagine, I own the land. And that guy was working for me, a laborer. And then all of a sudden, he comes out and says, Oga, oh I found treasure here. I found treasure here. And he brings out the treasure. I'll tell him, God bless you. You can go with it. No, be so. Eh? Why? Even the way some of you just threw away your face. Pastor, is that, is that supposed to be a question? Because even though he found it, it's still not his own. People of God, you and I can agree there were too many things you found, but because you were not in charge. So, sir, the credit went to who was in charge, not to who found it. So, sir, the mandate of the season is you need to become more territorial. Call your name and say, Jerry. Say, rise. Say, take over territories. I need you to say it again. Say, Jerry. Say, to say it, the Lord. Say, rise. Say, take over territories. Say it again. Say, Jerry. Say, to say it, the Lord. Say, rise. Say, take over territories. Say it again. Say, Jerry. Say, to say it, the Lord. Say, rise. Say, take over territories. If you understand it, can you turn that louder? Amen. Can you shout a better amen? Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. And as your two hands are lifted, I announce, may you take over territories. I say, may you take over territories beyond your imagination. Take over territories beyond what you thought about. Take over territories right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Can I, can I just share with you five thoughts? on how men take over territories. Five thoughts on how men take over territories. Please never forget this all the days of your life. Number one, territories are won by conquest in the spirit. People of God, there are territories you need to first of all battle to the ground in the spirit for you to be in charge of them physically. Whether they are career territories, business territories, and all, some of us have not taken over the gates of those territories in the spirit. So, sir, no matter how much you desire to be in charge, but you've not yet conquered in the spirit, sir, you can't take over that territory. Kebara Sudaya. People of God, every city, every career is governed by a territorial keeper. Let me put it differently a gatekeeper. Most of them are demonic. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So, sir, you are working hard and saying, Pastor, I'm putting in my best in this career. I'm putting in my best in this business. Sir, there is a territorial gatekeeper that does not want you to be who God wants you to be. Sir, number two, men take over territories through the gift of men. Do you understand what I'm saying? Go, go, go and check through the scripture. Men who became kings were anointed by other men. 
did you hear what I just said right now? If this man will call and say, oh, is it not because uh, uh, the, uh, the hand of the Lord is upon you? Men took over territories by men. Sir, when you conquer in the spirit, one thing you must pray, Lord, send me men on whose back I can stand to take over my territory. People of God, the Bible says even the wisdom of the wise, uh, wise man, the wisdom of a poor man is despised. He's wise, but he's poor. And there's nobody to help him. Sir, men take over. There, is, there are men who will enter your life. You know, there are men and there are men. I'm not talking about yeah, yeah, men. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. You know, you, you have 200, that's the, the way the devil surrounds you with 200 friends. And all they do is to give you all the gist that don't make sense. Have you gone to Insta blog? Have you gone to this other? And they are called, those are the, they are friends for gist. Change friends for gist to friends for wealth. Am I communicating? Through the gift of men. Lift up your right hand. I pray for you. May the Lord send you the men that you need. I don't know whether you, I say it again, may the Lord send you the men that you need. Let your amen thunder. Take your seat. Let me also say that men take over territories through mastery. Did you hear what I just said? Men take over territories through mastery. People of God, let me tell you, every day, Somebody who is looking for what you are looking for is perfecting his craft in that area. Every day, people are becoming better. They're sitting down, but every day you want to recycle the way things used to be with you. People of God, mastery. Mastery is a lifter of men. People of God, do not just know what you are doing. Master it. Sir, do not just have an idea of what you are doing. Sit back. Those that are better than you, they don't have seven heads. Am I communicating? Become a master in what you are doing. Sir, mastery is the bedrock of distinction. Sir, mastery, people of God, is a gate opener for boundless possibilities in life. People, when you look at, at, even you yourself, you cannot stay. You cannot stay for people who don't have master. You are looking at them. What is this person saying? What is this person? He doesn't know what he's saying. I beg, I beg, I beg. Put it off. Put it off. I cannot. You are looking at, and then you are watching some Nigerian movies that they are not making sense. I know that their English is even making you unintelligent. So people of God, you are looking at it. I am telling yourself, no, 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 no. These people don't have, but there are movies, some Nigerian movies. Yes, let me also, you, you watch and then, and then you feel like, my God, these people are, they, they are make. it is called mastery. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, master it. I want you to say it again. Say to your neighbor, say, master it. Can you say it again to your neighbor, say, master it. People of God, I want you to understand that men take over territories through divine opportunities. The preacher said that the battle is not for the strong. The race is not for the swift. But the Bible says, time and chance happen to them all. That is it. Once the opportunity is right, people of God, that is how men take over territories. People of God, I want you to know that in the nature of God, he has given you several opportunities, but unfortunately you are not able to descend them. So you are busy praying for opportunity. But then again, you are not descending of your opportunity for your distinction. Sir, that is how men take over territory. I did not plan to say this. So, so sir, there are opportunities every day God provides for you. Take over. Take over. Take over. Many years ago, I was telling people, and I, and I want to say it again. You know, I don't know how many of you who were raised in homes where you were taught not to show yourself. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Don't show yourself. Don't show yourself. So I grew up not showing myself. So every now and then you sit back and see people who don't have sense. They are the ones showing themselves. Then every day, you see those that don't, that those ones are showing themselves that don't have sense. They are the ones that they will be putting out there. But they are saying, no, me and that, that guy does not know anything. I'm smarter than that guy. It's just that Nigeria has spots. They are just carrying people that don't know anything and they are just putting, oh, God, that guy is showing himself. 
We know your sense. In all your sense, you are nowhere. I want to encourage you. Show yourself. Did you hear what I just said? Show you. You know me. I don't like impressing people. What is mine will come to me. So you know the way they just go. Then they see the boss, and when they see boss, the, the boss, they'll just be doing like they work. They work hard. They'll just be the ogre. How will the boss know that you work hard? Me, I know, I, know what I, I know what I am doing. Me, I know what I am doing. If you know what you are doing, go and tell the boss. Show yourself. So, you know, today we are able to accomplish this. Did this, did this, did this. So I don't know whether it has come to you, but I, I, maybe eventually it will come to you, sir, so that you know. And, and then when you walk away, this boss will say, Kai, this guy is really working. But then not when you sit back and say, sir, you know, we are the ones working. <laughs> We are here working. You know? nobody, nobody knows us here. People of God, growing up, we looked at people who would go out there and then we say to them, Baza Queen. They just like to show themselves. Small thing and all of that. You know, I, I don't know that you, you were in classes while growing up, whether it was in primary, secondary school. You had people who didn't know the answer, always raising their hands. Hey, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Babu, they will just fail the question and all of that. But you knew the answer. For once, you never raised your hand. That is why you are where you are now. Take a minute, look at those that used to raise their hand without knowing the answer. Go and look at their life right now. Just for one second, remember one person in your class that used to raise hand unnecessarily. 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 And then you see people who are being extra kind, extra, you know, when they, were, when they see people, oh, hey, hey, let me help you carry your bath. Let me help you. They say, hmm, all these people, they like to do eye service. Eye service. Let me tell you, it is only God that looks at the heart. We human beings, we look from our eyes. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So it's only those that are doing eye service. They are the people that people will see. Receive sense. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. That is how men take over territories. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, take over territory. Tell your neighbor, show yourself. Say it again to your neighbor like a minute. Say, show yourself. I hope you understand I'm not talking about showing yourself in emptiness or showing yourself as if but I am saying to you, you are too loaded to be quiet. You are too loaded to be, every now and then, assignments will be done. Say, the day they choose to give me, that's the day I will agree. If they don't give me, I will not agree. You know I me, mean? I don't like to be out there. I don't like to be out there. You mean that with all that God put inside of you, you don't, you don't like to be out. Let me tell you church, my case was bad though. Until God delivered me. My case was bad. Do you know that it got so bad that when I was working with the United Nations, let me tell you, we will go for conferences. UN. Pastor Jerry, what did you say? UN. I was working with the UN, people of God. We will go for lunch. People will be going, you know how they go for, to buffet and people will go to lunch and then it's buffet and people are taking, I will not agree. I will go and stay in the room. Waiting, poverty is a bastard. Waiting, let me tell you, waiting for everybody. I kid you not. Waiting for everybody to finish dishing food. So people will finish dishing food. So when they tell me that the entire place has cleared out, that is when I will now come out. That is when I will now come out and then go, of course, I will, I will be happy to sit by myself in that empty place than to know that somebody will see my mouth move. Because what I was hiding in my mouth is what I still don't know. I didn't know what I was hiding. I just didn't want anybody to see me, you know, eat food and all that. Because maybe because I didn't know how to use fork and knife and all of that. And, uh, you know, when you come there, everybody just sits with their fork and knife and all of that. Right now, as I am like this. I don't care about fork and knife. If it is not there, I will use my hand and hand. Tell your neighbor, take that opportunity. Say, take it. 
Say take it. Say take it. Say take it. If you understand the thunder a louder, amen. And people of God, this is how it is. It was that bad. I wait when I when they don't finish, you know, rice that people are finished and they, the Holy Spirit has left those rice and then meat where God is no longer on top of the meat and nothing that those are the ones I will just manage and then they scoop for me and then put for me and then I will just stay there all by myself. All by myself. I didn't want to connect. I didn't want to do and Shabby, I don't look like it, I think. I don't I don't look like it. I don't. Until one day I had to tell myself. Eh? So this thing you are doing now, where is it taking you to? Where is it taking you to? People of God, I came to let you know there's an opportunity by the corner. See, this time around, don't behave like your former self. There's an opportunity by the corner. This time around, don't sit back and say, well, what a push it. Make the call. Send the SMS. Pray about it. Hold on to it. Speak life to it. Go for the things which we not as the way. People of God, at the sound of your amen, let the Lord give you your evidence. I said, let the Lord give you evidence. I said, let the Lord give you evidence. Let the Lord give you evidence. If you understand it, can you turn that louder? Amen. Can you turn that a bigger? Amen. Can you shout a louder? Amen. And people of God, I'm going to say this for the last time. Men take over territories through systems. In every field God has brought you in, there's already a system in place that you don't need to create your own. Just plug into the existing system. But let me tell you the frustration of most persons is that they are trying to create systems when there is already a system they should align to. So they are busy creating, it's not working. It's not, sir, when you come to that environment, what is working? Cast the Lord, open my eyes to see systems here that are working. And which system fits into what you have asked me to do? What system? These systems can be anything. They can be technology. They can be people. They can be structures. They can be anything at all. Lord, where you have called me to? What system am I supposed to plug myself into? Sir, so that is takeover. You see these five things I mentioned? These are how men take over territory, whether they want it by spiritual warfare or they are able to do it by system or they cast in on opportunity or there was mastery in what they are doing. People of God, sir, by the time you sit back home and go, when you go home, think on these things. That's how men take over territories. You cannot abandon destiny for another to fulfill for you. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. There are days when you don't even know. Sir, even if you, they give you an opportunity, you don't know what to do. Go and say, God, I keep myself here. I keep myself, I keep myself. I will call anybody I need to call, but for this matter, I will be better. Don't let people talk down on you. Don't let people tell you that you can't do it. And I want you to dismiss that useless meeting that goes on in your head. That tells you that in life, some people are better than others. You see, that place you may not be able to better wear better where for in adding vessel God has deposited treasures that the excellency might be of God and not of any man make up your mind any of these things I mentioned any of them get back and tell where have you not mastered where go back and master it very well learn it very well learn the issue what don't you know what don't you know? Sit back and say, I don't know this one. If you know those that know, go and ask them. People of God, when you start saying it, people of God, they will not go back and say they are the ones that are it just in case they did. Everybody learns from everyone. People of God, yes. People of if you see someone who is doing it rightly, people of God, copy it. It is called copyright. Make sure you copy rightly. Somebody, somebody told me, somebody told me, I finished a program one night, one of these last few nights. I know that. And a preacher like me walked up to me and said to me, Pastor Jerry, I want to inform you that this thing that you just said now, preach now, I'm going to preach it. He said, I'm informing you so that you will know. So that when not, not when you hear me, you start saying, uh, you know that you say, he said, you know, I won't call your name. He said, I will not mention that I heard it from you. He said, yeah, I'm saying this thing so that you will just know. I'm going to copy it. And I say, ah, go ahead, oh. 
we all receive from God. So even you, you receive from God. It's just I came through me. So all of us receive from the same source. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Sir, this is how men take over territories. I wish I can go into the rest because I've not even started my message, Seth. But people of God, this is the way men master. Sit back and tell God, Lord, what do I need to know? How do I need to know it? How do I need, and how do I embrace all the things that you're doing? And sir, more importantly, make warfare in the spirit. Reject what is rejecting you. People of God, fight the door that is closing against it. Send fire on systems that say that you yourself will not thrive. Were you blessed? Rise on your feet wherever you are. Would you lift up your two hands wherever you are? I'd agree that the best season of your joy just arrived. Why do I feel in my spirit that God is about to lift you without your labor? Let it become your evidence in this new season. I announce it is done. I announce it is done. Nothing missing and nothing broken. Can your amen thunder seven times? Can you put together your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership and lift it before the Lord? In streams of joy, we stand to give to God because we are offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So I encourage you to rise on your feet with your offerings. Lift it up before the great God of all flesh. And people of God, remember that 10% of whatever God blesses you with belongs to God and to God himself. So put together both your offerings, your tithe, and your... Remember today is about your business and your career. So I need you to be intentional about also putting together a seed that says, Lord, this is about my business and this is about my career. Yes, sir. Would you rise on your feet with your offering? your tithe and your partner. Make it a wave offering. If you are sitting down, it's not the Lord that is speaking to you. So please rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithe and your partnership. Make it a wave offering. Father, let the blessings of those who have honored you with their offerings, their tithe and their partnership be our portion. Every devourer is rebuked over the lives of our partners and our titers. We decree devourers are rebuked. And the windows of heaven are open and blessings are poured out that there will not be room enough to contain. Let the love of the Lord thunder louder. Amen. Amen. Please, once you give your offering, you might as well take your seat in the presence of the Lord. I like it whenever God takes us to this place. On Monday and Tuesday on the altar, it shall be Elroy, the God that sees me. Who is excited the way I'm excited? I don't need to say too much. Once, once you hear Elroy, you know that you remember NSPPD. People of God, the encapsulation of all the testimonies, all the wonders we've had on the altar of fire is just about Elroy. Elroy, the God that sees me. People of God, we encourage you to come with pictures of what you desire from God. Come with pictures of what you desire from God to the altar. is a miraculous Monday. is a shift Monday. is a shake it off Monday. is our answer full Monday. is our harvest full Monday. It's also a healing and deliverance service. It's also, most importantly, our transition Monday. People of God, next Sunday on the, sun, on the altar of fire, next Sunday will be very exciting. Our service next Sunday, the theme of our service is God of the 11th hour. Somebody shall say God of the 11th hour. You know, the interesting thing is that by Sunday, it would have been the first Sunday in November. And in November is the 11th month of the year. So, and the theme of our service is God of the 11th hour. Somebody shout yes. So, sir. 
In the eleventh hour, what does he do? Get ready for a tsunami and a cataclysmic walk of the spirit. For what our God cannot do. So people of God, all that will be happening on Sunday. First service is by 7 a.m. Second service is by 8.30 a.m. Third service is by 10.15 a.m. And fourth service is by 11.45 a.m. The interesting thing about Sunday, first Sunday of the month is both communion and anointing service. So double barreled in one Sunday. In one Sunday. Like I said, if you're not coming for midweek service, your village people are responsible. We continue with the third week of If God Be For Us. Go and ask those coming for midweek. It's so lovely. You can't even wish that we have more time to do so many things. So get yourself prepared for what God is about to do. Discipleship classes hold tomorrow here in church by 6 p.m. All dedications are scheduled for the 12th of November, second week. People of God, church building project is still on. And account details are on the screen. Ensure that you are part of this project. Partnership forms are also available at the inquiry desk right outside the auditorium. You know, you go ahead and partner with us, all those who are not yet partners in church. Book CDs and MP3s of our Man of God's messages and teachings are also available at the Emporium as well as all the ministry materials. Right about now, would you just let me welcome those who are in Streams of Joy for the first time. Today is the first time of your being in Streams of Joy, Abuja. We want to welcome you and let you know that your presence means a lot to us. As we put our hands together for the Lord, can you rise on your feet? Church, celebrate them while they rise. Celebrate them while they rise. Celebrate them while they rise. Wow. 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 Hallelujah. And while they remain standing, we want to say to you, thank you so much for walking through our doors. We welcome you to Streams of Joy Abuja. We believe that your coming here today was not a coincidence. It was not a happenstance, but it was God that ordained your steps to be here. Thank you for walking through our doors. At every season, God brings you amongst the people just because he accidentally wants you to find a treasure. And we believe that that day is now. And the people exactly the people that you are with right now. Thank you so much for walking through our doors. This is the home of what God cannot do does not exist. This is a place where we experience supernatural possibilities in and with our God. The ushers have slipped in a form into your hands, so require that you fill out your details in the forms that the ushers have given you and hand it into an usher before you leave for two reasons. We want to get across to you and we want to keep you in our prayers. Thank you for walking through our doors. You are the best thing that happened to our service today. And when we look at you, all we see is the blazing glory and the power of God. Please fill out your details in the forms that the ushers have given you and hand it into an usher before you leave. For two reasons, we want to get across to you and we want to keep you in our prayers. Once again, thank you for coming. God bless you. Just celebrate them while they take their seat in the presence of God. We have another unique set of people. Uh -huh. While I'm, I'm trying to welcome this second unique set of people, I... I am pleased to inform the church that our 31st night, um, 31st night, will be holding at the stadium. So, we, so just tell everybody that, uh, of course, we were not this big last year. So, and with everybody who is flying in everywhere, so more persons, NSPPNs want to come from every part. They want to do 31st night with us. And if you notice, we did not even promote 31st night last year at all on NSPPD. We didn't mention it. But this year, we want to mention it. And the only place that can take us is the stadium. What God cannot do. So, people of God, would you let me welcome those who are saying, would you let me welcome those who are saying, Pastor, we have chosen to be a part of this house. All those who say, Pastor, have chosen to be a member of Streams of Joy Abuja. I want to welcome you in a very distinctive Streams of Joy way. If it sounds like you, can you wave your hands, even if it's your first time or, wow, look at those hands. Just as we put our hands together, can you come forward here? Just celebrate them while they come. Come, come, let me transfer the blessings of God and release the blessing. Just celebrate them while they come. Celebrate them. Let's release the prophetic utterances of this ministry and the DNA of our ministry to them. Celebrate them, church, while they come. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. 
Keep saying, wow, look at them coming. Look at that number. Look at that. Those numbers. Church, let's keep celebrating them. Let's keep celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Church, let's keep celebrating them. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, let's keep celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. The way you celebrate them is the way you will be celebrated this week yourself. Let's keep celebrating them, church. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop. Don't stop celebrating them. 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 Hallelujah. So while we wait on the rest to join us, I want to say to you, thank you very much for making up your mind to be a part of Streams of Joy today. I'm sure some of you literally felt God drag you and say, that is the place where you're supposed to belong and that's meant to be your church. You're welcome. I am so pleased. I am so excited to welcome you to these moving company of soldiers of the Lord set to destroy all the structures of negativity and have you positioned where God wants you to be. Thank you for choosing this day that I be your pastor. And I want to let you know that I always will say to everyone who comes out here, you are pregnant with supernatural possibilities. There's so much greatness inside of you. And God has sent me to you to midwife everything he has put inside of you. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, I decree let the hand of the Lord be strong. From today, enter into a new realm of favor. From today, receive answers that sound like lies. You see today, Steve, it's not a coincidence that you are here. Your joyful days are here. Receive it of the Lord. 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 I decree it is done. I decree it is done. I decree it is done. Nothing missing and nothing broken. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. The ushers have given you a form. I require that you fill out your details and then please turn in that form for us. Drop it off with any usher or maybe you keep it at the inquiry desk, but please don't go with your form. I am so elated to know that I am pastoring you right now. Wherever you see me, feel free to stop me. In Wuse Market, in Guagulada Market, wherever, just feel free to stop me and just say hello to me. And it will be such a joy for me to also see you. Thank you so much. May the God of the fire altar show you that you came to the right place. In the next three months of your life, you will receive answers that will shock you. It's already done. Church, can we celebrate them? Oh, no, no, no. I have not given you my virtual hug. Is it, is it okay if I give you a virtual hug? All right. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Church, can we celebrate them while they return to their seats? Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Don't stop celebrating them. Have you been blessed by God today? Can you rise on your feet and lift up your two hands to God? I announce that your joyful days are here. Something will be happening every 24 hours. And that will be good news in your favor. May the evidence of today's service be seen in your own life. Let your amen thunder louder. With your two hands lifted before the Lord, can you declare, say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Let your amen thunder. Okay, meet 14 persons on your way out and scream in their ear, my joyful days are here. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same Your name is to be hallowed Adonai From the rising of the sun To the setting of the same Your name is to be hallowed Your name is to be a 
and our service is themed my joyful days are here can you say oh lord in this service unlock the doors unlock the gates of my joyful days la para say oh lord in this service move me from from where I am into my realm of joy move me from sorrow to joy move me from bitter tears to joy move me la paz a brakate garigabaya a reba shanda gabasa la repa toba seke pada a leba yada gabasa a reso pata yada gabaya say oh lord in the service I receive the miracle that will open the chapter of joy, le paro se te gabaya, la raba da gabasa, a reshe pataya di gabasa. Say, Lord, in the service, give me that miracle that will silence my mockers. La separia, a shia pata, a scabreto gabasa, a surantia gabarabasha, a reketoi gabaya, a reso pai gabasha, a raso pataya. Say, Lord, by this service, every whipping has ended. By this service, every morning has ended. By this service, I break out of the chain of negativity. I break out of confinement and I break in into my joyful days. La shapata pate adigabasa, le rupasi adigabasha, la kopate ke pataya. Say, O Lord, in this service, write a new ordinance of perpetual joy over my life, over my family. Over my career, over my business, over my ministry, la pora seteya, aria patuma si ada kabasha, la kopate kadi kabasha, le kopate kadi kabasha, let there be la shepa rose ke pataya, an oil of joy in place of sorrow, a shepherd, a sariata kapata. Say, O oh Lord, in the service, I wear joy like a garment. I wear joy like a garment. Henceforth, it shall be joyful news. It shall be joyful news. It shall be joyful news. La pare barigabasa. Say, O Lord, in this service, close the chapters of bitter tears. Close the chapters of sorrow. She close the chapters of rising and falling. Ashe pataya, aria pataya. Say, Lord, I step into my joy. I step into my joy. My joy is full. Shall I take a party? I'm gonna party. Can we lift up our hands and bless God today? <laughs> Father, we love you. We worship you, Jesus. Can you just wave your hands to Jesus and say sweet things to Him? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Lord, we honor you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Woo. You give life. You will love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is
tonight. Hello, we want to die. Joy have been restored 
Shout hallelujah. A better me has emerged. A more glorious me has emerged. Shout hallelujah. Declare on Tuesday, my days of pain, my days of shame, they are over. Shout amen. The backbone of delay has been broken. The evidence of the overflowing grace of God's goodness and faithfulness abound in my ministry, abound in my career, abound in my business, abound in my academics. Shout amen. My cup runs over. Thunder my joyful days are here. Declare on Wednesday. Look at that your neighbor beside you. Say neighbor. Suddenly, that one answer, which settled other life issues, has finally happened. Shout amen. Look at your neighbor again and declare, neighbor, I have received seven years in one day. If you know you have received seven years in one day, give the Lord a mighty shout. Thunder, my joyful days are here. Declare on Thursday, as in the order of Elizabeth and Mary, my family enters into season. We enter into our season of joyful days. Thunder, amen. Long expected good news and the miraculous are happening back to back. Are happening back to back. Shout amen. My family is now much talked about by the reason of the back-to-back -back celebrations. Shout hallelujah. Thunder, my family's joyful days are here. My family's joyful days are here. Shout hallelujah. Declare on Friday, hijackers of my joyful days. Hijackers of my joyful days. Have you not heard what became of Pharaoh? and his men. Have you not heard what became of Adonijah? Declare my Lord, fight for me, and I hold my peace. Shout amen. What Abba has promised for my joy cannot be taken by another. Shout hallelujah. Declare on Saturday, thunder Christmas has come early. Shout amen. Declare I am the evidence that God has remembered me. Shout amen. Naysayers are dumbfounded. Thunder naysayers are dumbfounded. My spirit, my spirit life is on fire. My joy is like a river overflowing its banks. Shout amen. What God cannot do, what God cannot do, what God cannot do. He's to that sin again He's lifted my sorrows I can't stay silent Cause I must seek for His joy has come Oh, Jesus has turned my morning Into that sin again Yes, yes, He has lifted my soul People who are in that joyful season, I say, He has turned my morning into that scene again. Jesus has lifted my sorrows. I can't stay silent, I must sing for His joy has come. Because in a world where the seasons and times, hey, this season. You must shine, you must laugh again, yeah, in a world where the seasons in time, hey, this is your season, hey, it's time to shine again, you will shine again, in a world where the seasons, God says 
is your joyful day so ah! hey hey if God be for us the devil is a bastard shout my joyful days are here you may be seated Let's make welcome our testifiers, Oluchi Ihoma, Sarah Balugu, Isha Kamara, and Ojika Ugochuku. Please celebrate the Lord. What did the Lord do for you? Good morning, everyone. So, um, I'm a chef, and um, on Tuesday morning, I was um, cooking in the kitchen. So, um, all of a sudden, I noticed that the gas went off, and I tried to light the gas back. And the last thing I, I, remember, I could remember was the light coming at me. And it burnt my, all my lashes are gone, and just my brows and my front hair. And it didn't touch my skin. It did not burn my skin. I, I can't shout. You know, when Papa would say, how will you shout? I don't know how to shout because I see no reason how, how that gas would, would explode like that. And it did not touch my skin. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. But I've come to say thank you. I don't know how to express myself. Because Papa would always say, how would you shout? I couldn't. Honestly, I couldn't. Papa, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for everything you do on this altar. Thank you. I'm a member of the Watchtower, and I, I've, I, I just know that because I'm a member of that unit in church, and I walk, and God will never allow any negativity come close to me. Thank you. What God cannot do, a thousand shall come at the side, but it will not come near you. Let your amen be louder. Amen. What God cannot do? I'm Sidi Katsu Sarah Balogun from Lagos. My testimony goes like this. My daughter, sister, uh, daughter-in-law has been waiting on the Lord for six years. And um, we have paid for IVF in February. I'm not a member of this altar, but my granddaughter can they introduce it to me. But then I was not ready, not sure I want to join because I thought it was noisy. But um, later on, she called me because she has a lot of challenges. She's been in the UK. She will apply for a job as a barrister. She will get the job. They will give her the date of resumption. They will call her back and reject her coming. Not once, not twice, not thrice. And then she called me and said, I'm tired. I want to leave this altar. I encourage her. Her twin sister called me later, after some months, that this girl has completely backed out. Then I said, well, maybe it is time for me to join. And that was July last year, and I joined. And uh, we keep praying and keep praying. We keep praying, and the Lord saw her through. And then they came to build their own company, Be Assured Limited. And... Um, they were to get the answer back when they applied in four weeks, and they didn't get it back in, until 20 weeks. They were invited for an interview. They went, and um, Taiwo was encouraged, was, but kind of did the interviewer said, we are not encouraged by all your answer. But lo and behold, I don't know why. Um, take this off your company, take that off your company, maybe, and then they agreed and took them off. And they, they called them for the interview. They, they granted their paper. And pastor, on, in November, when we were on the fire altar, said, get that answer in two days, instance, the email, the everything. And then immediately we finished the prayer, got out to my sitting room. That was going this on my phone. And she said, Grandma, me guess what? I said, I cannot guess. We have been approved. Be assured has been approved. What my God cannot do does not exist. And my baby, I've jumped everything. We had, we, 
We had him. We had him. God answered my daughter-in-law and my son. At 70, I'm able to see my grandson. And I give God all the glory. After six years of waiting, I give God all the glory. I thank God. Pastor, thank you for your sacrifice. May the oil on your head never, dry, never run dry. All NS PPD, thank you for your uh, uh, amen has broken the wall of Jericho in my life and that of my children and myself. What God cannot do does not exist. What the Lord cannot do. After six years, her daughter-in-law gave her a baby and her children have their company. What the Lord cannot do. Does not exist. Hello, church. Um, my name is Aisha Kumara. I'm from the United Kingdom. Um, a Muslim. <laughs> I'm from a Muslim background. I just want to share this testimony. Morning. I promise God that if he do this for me, I'll come back and testify to the glory of God on behalf of my husband. Um, I remember when daddy wanted to go to um, London for the conference this year. Then my husband was going to Sierra Leone. He's into politics for the election in June. Then I told him, I said, babe, we need to go to the conference. Then he said, oh, I've already booked my ticket. I said, please change that ticket. Change it. Let's go to the conference. After the conference, you can go even the same night or the morning. But I don't know that God was speaking to me. I don't know. Then we went for the conference and we bought anointing material and a t-shirt. Then I told him, I said, the day for the election, can you wear the t-shirt? Put it on. I don't know why God is saying. Then I told him to sow a seed of preservation. I said, take an envelope, just sow a seed. Then we did that and we went and we went to Sierra Leone. Lo and behold, the day for the election. He already put on the t-shirt. He sent me the picture and I just had a text from relative, your husband has been arrested. I said, hey, not at my watch. No, Pastor Jerry didn't tell me that. No, I said, let me talk to him. I said, where is the T-shirt? Did he have the T-shirt on? They said, yes. I said, take the phone to him. Then they took the phone. Then I saw him wear the T-shirt. I said, don't take it off. Even they took it inside prison. Don't take that T-shirt off. They arrested him because of political reason. Because he did so much in his hometown for his people and the opposition, they arrested him. Just trying to find allegation to place upon him. I said, no, that's my watch. Pastor Jerry yeah, didn't say that. I said, nothing missing, nothing broken. I don't know how to pray, but I will pray. I said, because I'm in the fire altar. Not at my watch. What people will say? What my family will say? I said, no, they will not arrest you. Then I speak to them it was a lot of problem and they were trying to place a lot of allegation against him i said don't worry wear that t-shirt don't take it off even it's dirty don't take it off you will not be there what happened to others will not happen to you not at my watch even you are a muslim i'm a, I'm a christian i've gave my life to, to christ my small sister introduced me to this altar i am here now i said nothing broken nothing missing everybody was calling me the old even the president the opposition everybody knows about his case i said don't worry it it was getting tougher, but I keep connecting on the fire halter every day. And I see if the chain is not broken, I saw a seed to the building, huge seed. And it's not even two days, they start fighting themselves. Favor from everywhere. Favor from everywhere. I just say, God, I thank you. There was one morning Pastor Jerry said, he said, Abba has gone ahead of you. Abba has gone ahead of you. What you're afraid of will not happen. I hold on to that word. I will pray. I'm not sleeping. I'm stressed. Because from one place to another, I just said, thank God. The day for the day, it was a mercy prayer. And everything, the allegation they want to place upon him, every, the one they paid to, to, to lay allegation of, to, to my, for my husband, he said, no, 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 nobody will pay me to do this. Ah! God of Pastor Jerry arrived. He said, nobody will pay me to do this. I'm not into this anymore. No, I'm not doing it. God raised the voice. God of Pastor Jerry, I just said thank you. And my husband has been released. And he came back to the UK. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I just said, Lord, I thank you. God of Pastor Jerry, I thank you. You take away shame for my life. I give you glory. I give you honor. Thank you, NSPPD, for saying amen. I give you glory. All my restoration for my husband. I said, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What the Lord cannot do. Every negative allegation is reversed in the name of Jesus. What God cannot do. Streams of joy. What God cannot do. I want to return glory to God for what he has done. I, firstly... I joined SPD 2022, but I was just only following that, oh, Lord, show me mercy on Wednesdays, and then back off. <laughs> so I traveled, and then God so kind, I came back. I did my marriage on 2021. 
Then God blessed me and my wife with a child. Then during delivery, I was not around. Then my wife gave birth to the baby. After giving birth, instead of the baby to cry, the baby gave up. That was how they called me. And I was destabilized. And my document was having six months to expire. And I have to wait for three months before I can submit for renewal. I look at myself. This child is bigger than this document. Let me call home to see if God will help us for her to conceive again, encourage her, encourage, to also encourage ourselves. Then <laughs> I came. Coming to Nigeria, the first month, the miracle happened, but the devil took it. Se second month, the same thing, miscarriage. The third month, the same thing. That was December. I looked at myself. How will I explain this? They already saying, where did you make money from? You lost your first baby. Three miscarriages. Then, on June, January, I was supposed to travel for a business. I was still scared. But because of this um, miscarriage and everything, we relocated from Edo State to Abuja. Then stay in Abuja. Then when I went for the business, on um, February 1st, the first Sunday of February, my cousin visited my wife. I was like, ah, which show are you going to? She mentioned. She said, ah, let's go to the streets of jail. That was how my wife followed him. There was no around. My wife came back. He called me. Look at, that. Look at our new church. We've switched. <laughs> I said, okay, no problem. When I came back from the travel, I came here. Our jail was not around. I said, okay. The next Sunday I came again. I was encouraged. From there, that February, we not took any speed serious. Back to back, back to back. Then, that February, we did test, she was pregnant. The third month, she saw blood. She was hospitalized. I was still scared. After everything, they said the baby was there. We moved on. The fifth month, the same thing, she saw blood. Hospitalized. My son just keeps saying, what well, that thing you're afraid of will not happen. Then, July, the last Sunday of July, I dreamt on Saturday stroke Sunday that I was shot on my leg. After that dream, when I came to Jordan, pastor was already preaching. He just, he said, from now to Wednesday, your dream will not turn into money. That thing you're afraid of will not happen. You will not, you will not, you will not die, you will not, you will not bury it. I, I killed to that word. And I was supposed to travel on Monday for a business. I looked, I looked at everything. I said, okay, let me use faith and go. After all, they've prayed for us. That was how I left on Monday. On Tuesday of it, robbers came to our apartment. The fourth building was robbed. When I mean robbed, this, these are not thieves. These are armed robbers with guns. <laughs> then, after robbing the, the building, they were, they, they were unable to open my door. They have to break the glass, cut the blog I entered. And that night, my wife was putting on our T-shirt, NSPD. So, the robbers were like, after collecting what they want to collect, they... No one said, I will just hit you in your stomach. That was it. The other one said, let's go, let's go, let's go. That was how they left. And from there, with what we've experienced, she could no longer sleep. And to, to cut long story short, God saw us through. Then during our anniversary on the 17th of this month, that made us two years in marriage, her labor started. So that afternoon was when she ate something. At night, she could not eat anything. The next morning on the 18th, she did not eat anything. And she was on labor. And I was on prayer. I, I started to be on fast that next day. Then, during that, even when she was on labor, she was holding her phone. I was playing SPD inside the labor ward. They did not refuse me of going inside. I was outside. Then, all of a sudden, I had a spirit. It is not the same matter that you're taking Holy Communion. Put spirit on your hand. Go to the labor ward. Touch your wife on, on her belly and say, this baby, I will have you saved. That was how I, I forced the door. When I entered into the labor ward, I did that, that same thing. Then the nurse asked me to go and get a um, mattress that the one who bought was already finished. For me to go and get it, coming back, I saw our bundle of joy. I, I, want, I want to give God the glory because... During the NSPD, there was a woman who testified that after three miscarriages, God saw her through, and then she named 
that child, Chamwe. Uh, and immediately I heard that word. My spirit told me, this is the name of your daughter. If being it a boy or a girl, this is the name. <laughs> immediately I went to Gogo. I asked, what's the meaning of Chamwe? One who sees God. I said, God, you've said it and it's, let it be so. And today, I'm here to thank God. Maybe Chamwe is here with us. To, to the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Daddy. What God cannot do. You see that thing that will bring you joy. The devil will not turn into mourning. In the name of Jesus.
joyful days are already here. Can you throw your head back? Can you give the Lord a loud shout of praise? I am not sure that that was for you. If you know that your joyful days are already here, you know there's going to be an outburst of good news, an outburst of joy, an outburst of answers, an outburst of the miraculous. Raise your voice. 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 Give him a loud shout. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. That was a wrong neighbor. Leave that neighbor. Please get in the face of another and tell that one, say neighbor. What I pray for is finally here. Say neighbor, you have your evidence. Say neighbor, you have your answer. Say neighbor, the door has been opened. Say neighbor, your turnaround has come. Say neighbor, your laughter has come. Say neighbor, I see joy. I see joy. I see joy. I see celebrations. Say neighbor. I see restoration. I see compensation. If that sounds like you, how will you shout? How will you shout? How will you shout? How will you shout? Will you shout? Give the Lord a loud shout. A loud shout. Lift up your right hand and turn the fire. Turn the fire. Turn the fire. Say today, any blocker, any hijack. Any exchanger of my joyful days, what are you doing around my life right now? Fire, 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 fire. Open your mouth, Rakatabada, Leviataka, Ishakata, Elevator, Erokoto, Rapashada, Ekotola, Rapadaba, Itaka, Elasaka, Eshade, Elabiada. Atakata, Rabiado, Esoko, Elebite, Rakatea, Rabesa, Akapata, Lakatoy, Elebite, Ashakade, Elebite, Rakatiba, Rabesa, Elokoda, let your image turn the louder. Let your image turn. I announce dry bones are life again. Dry bones are life again. Dry situations are life again. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pattern of losses have been broken. Pattern of losses have been broken. Pattern of losses have been broken. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Uncommon keys are dropping into your hands. Territorial keys. Territorial keys. Territorial keys. Territorial keys. Territorial keys. Receive it right now. 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 The walls are collapsing. The walls are collapsing. The walls are collapsing right now. Right now. Right now. Family celebrations. Let them erupt. Let them erupt. Let them erupt. Let them erupt. Right now. Right now. Right now. You are lifted by the Lord. Justified by the Lord. Glorified by the Lord. Receive right now. Receive right now. Receive right now. Receive right now. We break every mark of disfavor. We break every mark of shame. We break every mark of retrogation. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let your amen turn. Let your amen turn. Let the Lord give you your own. Let the Lord give you your own. Let the Lord give you your own. The Lord is making your joy full. The Lord is making your joy full. The Lord is making your joy full. Receive right now. Receive right now. Overtake. Arise. Pursue. Overtake and rise, pursue, overtake, recover all, recover all, recover all, recover all, recover all, recover all. Let your amen turn the louder. 
let your amen rise as your two hands are lifted i speak over your business and career every embargo every limitation let them be broken right now let them be broken right now we take your business and career to the mount of visibility 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 receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now right now right now right now coverings over your business and career let them be broken 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 with the great environment will not swallow your career the environment will not swallow your business i say let it erupt 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 let your image thunder let your image thunder may the lord send you lift us 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 right now men and women that will be lift us men and women that will be lift us receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let your image thunder let your image thunder let it be back to back celebration back to back celebration let your image thunder let your image thunder any strong man or strong woman blocking your way we announce let the wind of the lord blow them out of the way let the wind of the lord blow them out of the way let your amen turn today is your last day on this level today is your last day on this level let the force of the holy ghost let the force of the holy ghost let the force of the holy ghost move you forward right now 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 let your amen turn I announce it is a new season. I announce it is a new season. Somebody lift up your two hands. Between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Someone under the sound of my voice. You will be exempted from a major calamity. I say it will not come near you. I say it will not come near you. I say it will not come near you. Let your amen turn the louder. Sunday Borokosha, accumulation of fluid in your lungs. I don't know who you are, but the power that raises us from the dead, let it be reversed. I say, let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let your amen turn the louder. I don't know who you are. The reason that you had that surgery has reoccurred again. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I announce, let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed right now. I don't know who you are, but I decree over your life. You will not be a victim for doing good. You will not be a victim for doing good. You will not be a victim for doing good. Let your amen thunder. 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 At the sound of your amen, those that hate your throne shall be ashamed. I don't know who I am praying for. Those that hate your throne will be ashamed because you are sitting on that throne and they cannot do anything about it. Receive it of the Lord. 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 Of the Lord. Keep at the Spirit of God. Say, open financial gates. At the sound of your amen, I announce, let financial gates be opened unto you. Let financial gates be opened unto you right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Let your amen turn down. I hear a mass in your pouch of Douglas. By a mass in your pouch of Douglas. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Let it be reversed right now. Let it be reversed right now. The spirit of God is running away every liver cirrhosis. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. I don't know why your two legs are swollen. And they are bringing pus and water. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Disappointment at the edge of breakthrough. Let it be broken. Failure at the edge of breakthrough. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. I announce it's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. Receive it of the Lord. Receive it of the Lord. Can your amen turn the three loud times? Can 
I hear you scream Jesus did it I did not hear you thunder Jesus did it can you scream Jesus did it can I ask you again how will you shout how will you celebrate how will you shout how will you celebrate somebody shout not because I'm asking you to but because you have a revelation not because I'm asking you to but because you can see the victory not because I'm asking you to can you show me how you will run around how you will celebrate it is happening it is happening it is happening it will be loud oh God be loud oh God be loud celebrate 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 give the Lord a loud shout look at your neighbor say it's already done that was the wrong neighbor leave that one get in the face of another say it's already done shout it like you mean it say it's already done open your bibles wherever you are right now to the book of matthew chapter 22 you know i'm a local man I like very local songs. Oh. I don't understand the key, so let me not try. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, God, he called me. We see you. In Yenani, I know. Mbezi chuku Kenye na nye kura Cha Amara Mbezi kone ube Please can I sing that line again? Mbezi kone ube Mbezi chuku Kenye na nye kura to the book of Matthew chapter 22 hallelujah amen hallelujah don't wind me don't wind me let's just let's just let's just Matthew chapter Matthew chapter 22 and we read from verse 1 all the way down to verse 14. From verse 1 all the way to verse 14. Um, so like um, a mass choir at the count of three. Can we read together? One, two, three. And Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and set forth his servants to call them that were bidding to the wedding. And they would not come. Again, he sent forth all the servants saying, Tell them which are bidden, 
Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed. And all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it. And went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies, and destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidding were not worthy. Go therefore into the highways, and as many as he shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highway, and gathered together all as many as they found, but bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And it saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Let there be none of any man but all of you. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder amen. I wish your amen would sound louder than it just did. At the sound of your amen and as your two hands are lifted, let the Lord who does wonders without numbers, at the sound of your amen, the evidence of this service, it will not be up to three days. Let it manifest in your life. I wish your amen would be louder than that. Please, on the way to your seat, help me look at your neighbor by your left and by your right and just shout. Shout to the left. Shout to the right. Can somebody celebrate a victory ahead of time? Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. People of God, it becomes absolutely very exciting. It becomes absolutely very exhilarating. Looking at the scripture that we find in the book of Matthew chapter 22 about how Jesus spoke about this one that prepared the table, this particular king that prepared a feast for the son. And because the son was getting married, touch your neighbor, say the son was getting married. And so people of God, invite had already been given out. And then some servants were sent to go and remind the those that were invited that the wedding had come because the king wanted to show off and the king said listen I've killed everybody I've killed goats I've killed everything my fatlings and they told the king we know they come we know they come your wedding will be a failed project if you like go and kill all your killables any preparation you like make this thing will not work we're not showing up the king sent another set of people they went and killed those people in other words anything we're going to do to frustrate this celebration it will not work the king said listen whether you show up or not what i want to do i will still do whether you show up or not my name will be glorified whether you show up or not what i want to do somebody i see is already your word are you waiting for me to make it call your name inside it no matter what happens you will carry your evidence if they like, let them like you. If they like, let them hate you. If they like, let them talk about you. If they like, let them leave you alone. Whatever they like, let them say, at the sound of your amen, you will still carry your evidence. Let your amen turn the louder. Somebody shout with a loud voice, say it will still happen. No, 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 you didn't hear me. Can you scream it louder? Say it will still happen. Uh. I want you to shout it like a minute. Say it will still happen. Uh. Say God will do it. Uh. Say God will do it. Uh. Scream God will do it. Uh. Let your amen confuse the devil. Take your seat. I didn't mean to start that way. I wanted to start very decently. So people of God, I wanted you to know that this was the king preparing this feast. And then now told them, let us go to the outer court. Let us go to the highway. Shandebada. Go to the highway. Anybody you see in the highway, whether they are good or bad, make sure that you bring them to the feast. So people of God, let me say to you, destiny is like people on the highway. People of God. The ability for you to see opportunity for a major feast depends on your discernment of allowing divinity interrupt you. Sir, not everybody that is going on a highway know where they are going to. 
you know how many times you're on the highway, but you don't know the place where you're going to. You sometimes have been on the highway only to return back and discover that you missed the road. People of God. Or maybe Google directed you uh, to only God knows where. If you, I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So people of God, only those that can be interrupted by divinity on their highway will determine the kind of feast that they will be a part of. But let me pack that one one side and focus on this king. People of God, by the time he was done inviting people, went and brought people both from the, um, uh, uh, the good, the bad, all of them brought them in. However, there was a major prerequisite to being part of the, um, the, the guests that the king had prepared for the son. Everybody must wear a wedding garment. People of God, but there was still someone that sneaked in there. People of God, you know the truth of the matter is that for you, you can't enter the feast without a wedding garment. But this guy is a sharp guy. People of God, there was no, like, they, 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 the Lord of the feast asked them, the, the king asked them, how did you even enter here? How did you manage to sneak yourself in here? People of God, this worries me about destiny. But let me not be ahead of myself. Because people of God, there are classes you can sneak and pass. But unfortunately, the next class, you may have to return back and go through those classes that you manage to sneak and pass. Did you understand what I had just said? You know, as that guy has shown up in that wedding, he will have just said that everybody will look at him. Ah, okay, how, bros, how did you pass? He said, I don't need that. I don't need that. Me and a smart guy. Me and a smart guy. I don't have to wear that clothes. I don't have to do it that way. No, no, no. Me, I, I know what I'm doing. Until the king walked up to him and told him, how did you get in here, first of all? Everybody is wearing the dress, but you are not wearing the dress. But pack it one side of your mind. Now, people of God, let me get to the heart of the business. The Bible says that the king was organizing a celebration because the son was getting married. Something new was happening. Touch your neighbor, say something new. Say something new. Tell your neighbor something new. Shout it again, say something new. Let me tell you the reason why our lives become normal and they are no longer joyful is when the old subdues the new. When every day of your life, people of God, it looks like I'm confronted with old situations, old patterns, old level, old dimension, old issues, old challenges. People of God, there was a celebration, not based on anything old, but because the son was getting married, something that had not yet happened before, they knew was about to happen. Sir, if you want to celebrate every day, create the new around you. Sir. From the renewal of your mind, people of God, to your ability to break forth into realms where you're going to pray and say, God, cause new things to happen around me. Sir, the more new things happen around you, it is just a normal cycle of life that once it is new, it will be celebrated. Once it is old, it will be forgotten. Did you hear what I just said right now? Once it is new, it will be what? Sell. Once it is old, it will be... Once it is new, it will be. Once it is old, it will be. I pray as your amen will thunder loudest here. May new things always happen in your life. You see the week that we are entering into carry three major new things. Let your amen thunder louder. There will be new clients. There will be new ideas. There will be new revelations. There will be new helpers. There will be new doors. There will be new access. Receive the new. Receive the new. I reject the old. Old mentality. Old level. Old challenges. Old battles. We reject them. We reject them. We reject them. Let your amen turn the louder. Please put your two hands on your head. Put your two hands on your head. As your amen will thunder. Ideas, new ideas, creative ideas, new mentality. At the sound of your amen, I announce, let it rest on you. 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 Let your amen thunder louder. Take your seat. No matter how you love a thing, once it is getting old, you get bored. No matter how you love a movie, once you have seen the movie once or two or three times, nobody will force you to go back again because you don't feel like it anymore. People of God, I think destiny abhors the old. 
your ability to say, Lord, keep me in that. You, you know, some of you are just wondering, Pastor, I don't know why my business was doing well. At some point, it's no longer doing well. Check again. Has the devil clothed that business with the garment of the old? Am I communicating? Pastor, I don't know why. Why all of a sudden my husband is, is rejecting me and all of that. Check yourself again. Has the devil sewn a satanic garment of old and given you to wear? I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Check around you. But people of God, Pastor Diana, we all with unveiled faces. People of God, we, we, we behold his face. And we are changed into the same image. And from glory to glory. This is the covenant that we have. So sir, what it means is that those that saw us yesterday people of God when they begin to behold us today they know there's something new listen the king organized celebration because the son was getting married newly newly sir because he was new there must be celebration because it, when he becomes old people don't have need of you again people of God help us even abandon those they are helping and also those who are being helped abandon their helpers because when he becomes old he loses interest Am I communicating? The Lord clothes you with the garment of newness. The Lord clothes you with the garment of newness. When you show up, they will see newness. When you talk, they will see newness. I wish your amen will thunder louder. Your inspiration will be new. Your ideas will be new. Your creativity will be new. Receive it of the Lord. Receive it of the Lord. Receive it of the Lord. Can your amen scatter the gates of hell? Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Somebody thunder said the new is here. Shout, I am in my new. Oh yeah, take, take your seat for one second. I need to say this so that you will hear. Notice carefully. The king organized this feast. And the king determined the guests. Let me say it again. If you are not ready... For the king to determine your guest, then you are not ready for him to be the one to organize your feast. Don't let the king plan your feast and then you go and bring in guests that do not look like the feast. I wish I can say it in other ways. You know, the problem of the king is that he has so much plans for you, but you are always making a connection that would discredit his feast. When your guests come, will they make the king look like this feast you organized? You organized it for the wrong people. If the king is the one organizing your feast, he is also saying, can I determine your guests? So when you start celebrating, only those that the Lord allow will be those that will stay. You begged him and said, Lord, please bring joyful days. When your joyful days start coming, don't take initiative and say, Lord, allow the king to determine your guests. Am I communicating? Lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my father. I give you access. Say, my father, my father. I give you access. Determine my guest. Say, my father, my father. Anyone not supposed to be in my life, can you help me shout fire? I didn't hear you thunder a loud fire. Can you thunder a louder fire? Can you scream a louder fire? Can you shout a louder fire? Let your amen thunder louder. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord and people of God. The Bible says, and the king said to the servant, Go and call those who were bidding for the feast. There are those who have already, we already put their name in the guest list. And sir, some of them said, and this is those some, that's those are the people I'm interested in. They say, We're not coming for this feast, though. We're not coming for this feast. What is your reason? We are going to the market. Some of them said, I, we are not. He said, we are not coming. They made light of it and went on that one to his farm, another to his merchandise. Cool down. You will soon say, pastor, is he not better than a uh, Let me tell you, in the Bible times, of course, you've read your Bible many times. Most of what they practiced was subsistence agriculture. I think I got it. Subsistence. Subsistence agriculture is the one that you farm 
to feed yourself. You farm to feed yourself. So look at what he's saying. The king said, what you are going to get, I have already prepared it. They said, no, no. We want to go and walk it by ourselves. The king said, all I want you to do is just to enter. Come and eat. He said, no, I want to labor. I will kill myself. And the king said, no. Trust me and what I have done. I have more than enough for you. But when they wake up in the night, they will put their hands on the chin. And then they will be saying, do you really have more than enough? Because I don't trust you. The king said, I'm not a man that I should lie to you. Have I ever failed anyone? And they put their hands on their chin and said, but king, is he not taking time? Is he not taking time? And the king replies to them, nothing is any, no loss of time around me. Because when I start, I can give you 20 years in one day. And the king said, come and eat. They said, king, can we labor with our hands? The king said, I have settled it. They said, king, I'm not sure. Sometimes my heart will do boo. My heart will do boo. My heart will do boo. And the king says, come and eat. Your process, I already have the end. The process you want to start, I have already, somebody under the sound of my voice, hear me as I hear the Lord. Are you ready for this? This might be one of the most powerful prophecies you've ever received. You see that journey that you are on, at the sound of your amen, receive the ending right now. Jesus, 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 Jesus. At the sound of your amen, the ending is in your favor. Take it right now. Take it right now. Take it right now. Take it right now. I say, take how it will end. 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 End it in your favor. 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 Release your loud amen. If your amen will thunder louder, it will not be up to 14 days. Receive the evidence of how it ended in your favor. Let your amen thunder louder. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen thunder. Somebody shall say it has ended in my favor. I want you to shout it louder. Say it has ended in my favor. Thunder it louder again. Say it has ended in my favor. I want you to thunder. Say my joyful days are here. Can you scream it has ended in my favor? Thunder it. It has ended in my favor. Thunder my joyful days are here. Thunder it has ended in my favor. Let your amen thunder louder. Take your seat for one second. And so this was what the king was saying. The king was saying, can I bring you to the ending? Come and eat. They say, we are not coming. It is the one we labor with our hands. We can no longer trust you, king. We are not even sure that we'll find meat there. Let us go and labor with our hands. Let us go and do by, and the king said, what you people practice is subsistence agriculture. You are just going there to sell so that you can find something to eat. But listen, with me, you don't even need to bother again because the food already has been prepared. At least let me spare you one day food. Let the bill be on me. Let the bill be on me. The bill is on me. But then again, they look at the king and say, Lord, well, let us go and labor with our hands. We are not sure. The Lord say, your four years is on me. The next five years of your life is on me. You will not be embarrassed harassed. The next 10 years of your life is on me. I will not bring you and stop your lights on the way. The next 15 years of your life is on me. He that began a good work Shakata, just rest in my joy. Rest in what I have done. Shakapadiana at the sound of your amen. Someone under the sound of my voice. I am led to declare this again. The next 10 years of your life is on the Lord. You will not go down. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat for one second. People of God. And they went to do a process that the end was already waiting for them. But sir, you know, one of them, when the, by the time he sent the messengers, if you ever think you have a message for your generation, if you ever think that there's something you're doing that is unique in career or business, if you ever think something has ever told you that you were wired to be great, something, listen to what I'm about to say. So the king 
sent his messengers. And messengers went to go and bridge the gap between the invitees, okay, and the king, people of God. They did not just despise them, they killed them. This is how destinies are extinguished. How messengers with voices and message. This one were not messengers without a message. Messengers with message. This is how they died. But listen, after they killed them, the king said, okay, I know what to do. The king sent an army. So the army went and killed the killers. Did you understand what I'm saying? So sir, let me come bring you to a place of balance. If you ever think God has given you a message, please ask for capacity. Ask for capacity to be able to deliver and subdue. Because you will ask yourself, did they make a mistake? No. They were sent. Yes, their sending was Christ. It was God that sent them. Number two, did they relay the message exactly? Yes. So why did they die in the process? They didn't have capacity to withstand the messenger, the those that were giving message that was about to hurt them. So I have message is not enough. I have known my purpose in life is not enough. I know what God is saying to me about myself is not enough. Every messenger must poke up and they say, every messenger must have capacity. Sir, you know, in this office where I'm in, I know what I am doing. I know what, he's saying this is my business. I know what I'm doing. Sir, listen, you know what you are doing. But oftentimes you don't know what is doing you. I have seen so many people that know what they are doing. One day, office becomes dry. Things are now, now going upside down. And they are wondering what is going on. Sir, they have message. Their message is right. They are correct. But unfortunately, they didn't understand that to be able to relate this to the generation that you're with, you must have capacity. Because you're going to deal with witches. You're going to deal with extinguishers of light. You're going to deal with people who will hear, see your business card. They don't know you. They start making libation. They don't know. They don't, they've not seen you anywhere. There are people who just hear your name. They will just pass by where you have a signpost and they see the signpost and they look and say, who is this one? Or for some reason, they hear you, you are introduced at parties or maybe, and then you smile and say, I'm the CEO of a, and they go like, really? Really? So there's something like this around people of God. It's not enough to have a message. It's not enough. Do you have the military where we die? It's not enough to say, I understand my purpose. I know my calling. It's not enough to say, me, I know what God has called me to do in ministry. I know what, no sir, no sir. Are you military enough? Are you military enough to say, Lord, I am not just going with the message. I'm going with capacity. Yes. Sir, you don't understand. Until you are on your way to the top, you see intrigues. On your way to the top, you see those you love bring out their dagger, stab you. Listen, you think that before they stab you, you know, they say they, 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 they stab you at the back. Listen, you see this word now. They end stabbing you at the back, man. People are looking you right in the front and they are stabbing. This was what David saw. David screamed, say my own friend. The one I ate from the same plate with has lifted his heels against me. Sir, this is the generation we are in. And then you are telling me, you think everybody is clapping for you? Everybody is happy for you? Except you are not wired for greatness. When you begin to rise, you begin to see wickedness. You begin to see that there are people, their mission and destiny in life is anywhere beneath face. People of God, whatever they can sell you for anything, once your price is right, am I communicating? So people of God, these are the people you are dealing with. You must carry the capacity. I may not control what you do, but I will control how it will affect me. If you understand what I said, raise your voice and thunder fire. I'm not sure you understand what is going on. Can you thunder a loud fire? Can you shout 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 fire? You shout fire? Let your amen thunder louder. Please, do not get excited about the profundity of your message. But people of God, be more discerning to know if you've got the capacity 
to withstand a backlash. Your message is a confrontation. Your message is a distinction. Your message will rattle a generation. People of God. Not everybody will sit back and clap for you. Some people will hate that you are the one giving the message. Some people will hate that you are the one. Is he, is he the one that they chose? Is he the one? Why should it be you? And they are going to come for you. But as your amen will thunder, anybody that will rise, get Robo Shadaba against any mandate the Lord has given to you. At the sound of your amen, let fire answer them. Let fire answer them. Let fire answer them. Let fire answer them. Let fire answer. Let fire answer. Let fire answer. Let your amen thunder. Take your seat. Please don't forget what I said. Do you know that they killed the messengers, but the armies messed them up? And I want to find a fusion in these two persons that were sent. I wanted to fuse them into one. People of God, that is the only way to stand. Have your message, but then again, have capacity. Be military enough. Sir, do not be militant without a message. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. But however, do not be a messenger without militancy. Did you hear what I just said? Kaya debo sadiana. Shadebala. You know, he, he never, he would have just stopped with telling us where the belt of truth. He didn't stop at that. He began to, to, began to tell us the different armor. Whether it's his helmet of salvation. Whether it's his breastplate of righteousness. Whether it is the shield of faith. Whether it is the sword of the spirit. People of God, how, there are weapons. There are weapons. There are weapons. Am I communicating? But the Bible says, after the king heard of this, he was wrought. And he sent forth his armies. And they destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Somebody has shout fire. May their basis, any base of wickedness against you, any base of conspiracy against you, any base of evil speaking against you, at the sound of your amen, let it be burned by fire. I said, let it be burned by fire. 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 Let it be burned by, by fire. Somebody lift up your two hands. I don't know why I'm let, I let you declare this. They will not suddenly put off your light. I don't know who I am praying for. I said they will not suddenly put off your light. Anybody that is planning it, let their own life be turned off. Let your aim and thunder louder. Let your aim and thunder. Let your aim and thunder. Let your aim and thunder. I don't know why I'm led to make this prayer. Lift up your two hands. May those planning against you make a mistake that will expose them. Hear me, it will happen this week. 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 Let your aim and thunder. Take your seat for one second. Show me the next verse. I need to say this to everyone with a messenger. With a message. Every messenger here with a message. Make sure you carry capacity. It is not enough to say I know what I am saying. What is your defense mechanism like? Every messenger with a message. Make sure you're the, like, sir, the least thing that these people expected is that I go to remind you of my invitation. You kill me. Like, why? I no go come, be say, I no go come. You don't have to kill anyone. But, sir, they kill this guy. Then said he to his servants, the wedding is ready. But they which were bidding were not worthy. Yes, the next verse. Go ye therefore into the highways, as many as ye shall find. Be to the marriage. Bring everybody. Bring everybody. Anybody you see. Yes, show me the next verse. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all, as many as they found, both good and bad. Somebody shall say both good and bad. <laughs> say, say it again. Say both good and bad. Shout it again, say both good, good and bad. Thunder it, say both good and bad. So, sir, all of them came. Both good, even the one that 
has all kinds of deformities. Everybody you see, and all of good and bad, everybody was gathered. However, when you get to the palace of the king, before you go into the wedding, you will wear a wedding garment. So when you get in there, because that was what the oriental culture said, when, they, when you come for wedding feast, it's not the, you're not allowed to tie your gilly. No, you will not tie your girl. You will wear, everybody will wear the same dress. So, sir, we all getting there, looking the same. So, sir, one was good, one was bad, but we don't know again. Because there's something in the king's house that turns bad. So, bad looks like good. So the king has something in his house. Keep our no Sir, it doesn't matter what you bring to me. But in the king's house, where I am, the king possess something that will make the bad you are doing me turn to good. If I spoke about you, can you turn that a louder? Amen. Look at your neighbor. Say there's something in the king's house. Is that neighbor responding very well? Touch your neighbor, say there's something in the king's house that turns disappointment into a mega blessing. If it sounds like you say it louder, amen. Look at another neighbor, say there's something in the king's house. Say there's something in the king's house that turns anxiety into a miracle. Shout it again, say there's something in the king's house that turns a mistake into a miracle if i spoke about you thunder a louder amen because you are in the king's house today whatever the enemy has meant for evil i announce let it be turned for your good 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 let your amen turn the louder take your seat Look at your neighbor say there's something in the king's house. Look at your neighbor say it didn't work against me. Say it's all for my good. Tell your neighbor the arrows they sent. It worked for my good. Tell your neighbor the lies and the conspiracies. Say it worked for my good. Tell your neighbor say neighbor. What they thought they were stopping. They had no idea that God was opening a mega door. Say to your neighbor, it worked for my good. Tell your neighbor in 24 hours, I will tell the story how it worked for my good. If I spoke about you, let your amen turn the louder. All I need to do is to let the king put his garment on that. Lord, turn this thing that they call bad into good. Show me the next verse as I get ready to tidy up. When, when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there, there was still a man that wanted to spoil that thing. He wanted to spoil that thing. But the king will, was not going to take it. And they saw him and we had not on the way. And he said unto him, friend, how came this down in Hida? not having a wedding garment and he was speechless yes the next verse then said the king to the servant bind him hand and foot and take him away I can't. because this mere 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 attitude if you don't bind him hand and foot as we are talking like this I don't know whether you are getting what I am saying and cast him into outer darkness that people as your amen will thunder every spoiler of your good news at the sound of your amen, let them be sucked from your destiny. I wish your amen would thunder louder than that. Let them disappear from your destiny. Let them disappear from your life. Let your amen thunder louder. I'm getting ready to end. Show me the next verse. This is shocking. Then, this is how Jesus ends this parable. He says, for many are called. See, we often quote this scripture out of context. So look at where this scripture came from. 
Let me remind you again. Let me remind you again. Right? So, there were people that were bidding, invited for a wedding. They did not come. Right? We went out to the streets and gathered more persons. And then they came. Everywhere were furnished with guests. So, many are called. I thought the scripture should have been many are chosen. But I'm going somewhere. But notice the narrative that ended this particular scripture. What ended it was that Jesus was talking about how the king saw this guy that isolated himself. And then, obviously, he was not chosen. But, sir, even the loss of one person, as Jesus summarizes the parable, he says, many are called, but few are chosen. So, even this one that we have lost now is a major minus for us, bringing us to the place called few. It's not something you rush. It's something you need to think again. I'm telling you in the context of the scripture we've just read. And Jesus was saying, listen, look at who. We lost just one. Only one person dressed wrongly. But after, according to the heaven arithmetic, according to the supernatural mathematics of heaven concerning this situation, one person losing this guy has brought us to the place of few. So I understand there are things you will lose. There might not be many. It might just be one. And your destiny will come to the place called few. There are people that you will disconnect from. Your life will come to the place called few. There are opportunities you will miss. Your life will come to the place called few. As I read this scripture, I said, is it me that is not seeing well? I read it from beginning to end. Jesus concludes with, for many are I said, how do you mean few are chosen? It's not few you choose. It's only one person. Only one person missed this thing. Only one. And the Lord was saying, even that one has brought this entire person into the place called few. And the Lord said, tell my people, there are people you don't lose so that your days will not be called few. There are people that come into your life and you know I cannot lose this one so that I will. There are opportunities that show up. You know, Lord, I must not miss this opportunity so that my life does not return to the place called few. Only one person. Only one person. Only one person. And then the summary is called few. The things that hold men most times are not usually more than one. The things that has brought you distinction most times are not usually too many things. Be wise enough to know what it is or what they are. Hold it clo closely so that your destiny will not be called few. Did I make sense? Rise on your feet wherever you are. Lift up your two hands. I decree over your life. Your joyful news is here. Carry your evidence. You have been remembered by God. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. If you love the Lord, let your amen turn now. Would you put together your offerings, your tithes and your partnership and raise it before the Lord. In streams of joy, we stand to give to God. Because we understand that we are offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. 
Please would you rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithe and your partnership. Church, we are a tight believing church. We believe. Even if God didn't ask us, he deserves 10% of whatever he blesses us with. He is worthy enough to get it. Would you rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithe and your partnership? Make it a wave offering before the Lord. We stand to give to God. It's a protocol of this house. So will you rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithe and your partnership? Make it a wave offering. Let the blessings of those who have honored God with their offerings, their tithe and their partnership be your portion. I decree the windows of heaven are open and blessings are poured out on you that there will not be room enough to contain. I announce it is done. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Once you drop your offering, you can take your seat in the presence of God. And while you're dropping your offering, people of God, the Lord takes us to that place where we are very excited about what God is doing. And he says to us on Monday and Tuesday, we're praying that prayer that we love on NSPPD. Elroy, the God that sees me. I thought your amen was going to be louder. Somebody help me thunder, say Elroy. Can you scream it louder, say Elroy. Can you thunder the God that sees me? So, the instructions of Monday and Tuesday is come with the pictures of what you desire from God. Is answer full Monday? Is harvest full Monday? Is healing full Monday? Is deliverance full Monday? Is shift full Monday? It is transition full Monday? And it is a turnaround full Monday. Get yourself prepared for what God is about to do. And people of God, remember Monday and Tuesday. There are days you should never miss. The interesting thing is that Tuesday is even the last day of October. I thought you were going to be celebrating this great God. By next Sunday, it will be the first Sunday of November. And the theme of our service is the God of the 11th hour. The God of the 11th hour is both our communion and our anointing service happening in all our four services. People of God, first Sunday in November, I don't need to tell you what is going to happen. God of the 11th hour, communion and anointing service. People of God, our Thursday word and fire service is happening. If you are not coming for midweek service, your village people are responsible. So this is our third week of If God Be For Us. The year is ending. Be intentional how you are ending the year. I'm telling you now, you are not listening. I'm telling you now, you are having appointments up and down. Make sure you are intentional on how you are ending the year. Discipleship classes will hold tomorrow by 6 p.m. here in church. All dedications have been slated and scheduled for the 12th of November, second week. Our church building project is still ongoing. Account details are on the screen. Please ensure that you're a part of this project. Partnership forms are available at the inquiry desk right outside the auditorium. You can also partner with us. Book CDs and MP3s of our Man of God's messages are also available, as well as other ministry materials. Please pick up testimony forms from the inquiry desk. Fill and submit so you might be scheduled to testify in the next service. I want to inform everyone that our crossover night our 31st night, people of God will be holding at the stadium. So that way, it will give everyone the opportunity. We were, even church was half this number last year. So we cannot attempt anything around here. And uh, we're not this big. And last year was a disaster everywhere. So we have decided to go and... and to the stadium and get as many persons as can be there, as will be there. So we're making all the logistics ready and making everything about. Do you like the idea? Yeah. So Streams of Joy Abuja, would you let me welcome those who are in Streams of Joy Abuja for the first time? Today is your first time of being in Streams of Joy Abuja. As we put our hands together for the Lord, can you rise on your feet, church, celebrate them. Those who are in church for the first time, celebrate them while they rise. Wow, 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 hallelujah. And while they remain standing for a few seconds, we want to let you know that we love you, we're excited, we're exhilarated, we're overwhelmed, not in any way underwhelmed to have you in service today. 
My name is Pastor Jerry Aze, and I'm the lead pastor of Streams of Joy International. On behalf of entire pastoral leaders and members of the church, we consider your presence here one of the most amazing and beautiful things that happened to us. There's no gain saying the fact that your presence here added a lot of color to us, and it brought a lot of sunshine to our service today. You are nothing but the representation of the glory of God. I mean the full weight of the glory of God. And when we look at you, we see someone loaded with supernatural possibilities and who the Lord is about to showcase to a generation waiting to hear their voice and see their impact and exploit. There's no gain saying the fact that God has already released to you everything that pertains to life and godliness and we believe that the revelational gift of God has found full expression in your life. See the way the Lord orders your steps to the place of your treasures. See the way God has caused all things to work together for good. Your lines have fallen to you in pleasant places and you have a goodly heritage from the Lord. See the way the Lord has visited your family and the heavens over your family has been opened like never before. All these rhymes I'm giving you is because you came for the first time today. So I want church, please, let's celebrate this, our amazing guest again. So if, if this means anything to you, it is my way of trying to say to you, we care about you, we love you. And if you ever consider to be back here again on Sunday, like I know you would, not if, there's even no if, it's me that is adding the if, but I know that you are very excited and you've been blessed by God. The ushers have slipped in a form into your hands, fill out your details in the forms that the ushers have given you and hand it into an usher before you leave for two reasons. We want to get across to you and we want to keep you in our prayers. We love you. May the God we serve bless you. May the God of the fire altar surprise you and may your expectations be exceeded in the name of Jesus. So fill out your details, turn the form to an usher or drop it off at the inquiry desk. Just celebrate them while they take their seat in the presence of God. At this point, would you let me also welcome those who are saying, Pastor Jerry, it might be my first time, but I have made up my mind that this is going to be my church. This is going to be my church. And if that sounds like you, can I see you wave your hands? Wave your hands. All those who are saying, wow, wow, wow. Okay, can you come out here? Let me pray for you. All those who are saying, Pastor, I've made up my mind. I love it here. I like it here. Some of you, while the service was on, the Holy Spirit was already telling you, get yourself prepared. This is your home. This is your house. Celebrate them, streams of joy. Celebrate them, celebrate them, celebrate them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Church, don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop. Wow. Look at them coming in their numbers. Look at them coming in their numbers. Keep celebrating them. The way you celebrate them is the way you will be celebrated. Celebrate them, church. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Keep celebrating them as they come. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. The way they are coming and not finishing is the way your money will come and will never finish. Is the way the opportunities will come and never finish. Celebrate them as they come, church. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Keep celebrating them while they come. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Celebrate them some more. Celebrate them some more. Celebrate them some more. Celebrate them while they come. Celebrate them while they come. Celebrate them while they come. Hallelujah. As we wait um, for the rest of the people to join us here, I want to say to you all, I am very excited to have you. Thank you for making up your mind to say, you know, from this time henceforth, Pastor Jerry, I'm going to make this place my home. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. I believe that you're coming here today. It was not even you that decided. But God has looked ahead and known that it is time for you to transition to a new season. And the spirit of, some of you literally felt God. By last night, you didn't know you were going to be here. So, I mean, if you're like that, can I see with you? You didn't know you were going to be here last night. But so, so the spirit of God just, just hit you and said, that's your church, go there. If you saw it in the dream, wave your hands. No. Okay. If you felt God tell you that's your church this morning, can I see you wave your hands? Wow. If you made up your mind while you were sitting down here, can I see you wave your hands? Anyhow, Sha, I prayed you. I wish I prayed. I said, God, as many that be the people that you want me to, you know, be a part of this commission, drag them. So when you came, it was simply the Holy Spirit that dragged you. I am very excited to have you. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus. Everything that works in this commission, let it work in your life. Let the miraculous, 
let the expression of the power of God, let the fullness of the grace of God, let them be made manifest in your life. I announce it is a new season. I announce whatever that has held you back is broken. In another three months, there will be a shout of joy. You have been remembered by God. And that place that you thought you would never get to, the Lord has already dropped it in your hands. Receive it of the Lord. Receive it of the Lord. I decree it is done. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. All I need you to do is to fill out your details in the forms that the ushers have given you and hand it into an usher before you leave. For two reasons, we want to get across to you and want to keep your name at the altar of fire. You matter a lot to us. I can't wait to be part of the next few things that are going to happen in your life and watch your spirit man literally blossom under God. I can't wait to see the evidence of the grace and the power of God made evident in your life. I love you from the depth of my heart. Please feel free to stop me anywhere you see me in Wuse Market, in Guagolada Market, anywhere you see me. Just feel free to just stop me and just say oh that's my pastor it would just mean a whole lot to me thank you so much i love you from the depth of my heart is it okay if i give you a virtual hug is that okay are you ready for it are you are you ready <laughs> god bless you church can we celebrate them while they return to their seats celebrate them don't stop celebrating them don't stop celebrating them can you all rise on your feet wherever you are with your two hands lifted to god at the sound of your amen this week will be one of your best weeks so far. May the sound of joy be heard around you. And may great grace be made manifest in your life. You have been remembered by God. Chai. God will make you smile. God will make you smile. God will make you smile. Receive it of the Lord. Let your amen thunder louder. With your two hands lifted, can you declare, say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, my God, my God, in Him will I trust. Amen. On your way out, meet 14 persons and scream in their ear. My joyful days are here. You're the name above all names. You are worthy of our praise. And my heart will sing how great. It is by his mercy that you are not consumed. It's by his privilege that you are in his presence. Open your mouth and pray. God is a good God. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. And by his right hand, there is pleasure forevermore. Open your mouth and pray. As you have appeared in his presence, you shall carry your joy. Your joyful days are here. Your joyful days are here. Carry your evidence. We be men dear forever. But joy come out in the morning. Your joy is here. Your joy is here. 
Le pete le gede be shira ka barasa. Rata la gaba de la selva shira ka dasha. Le pata bakata le gede shalara. Le pata le gede be shira dasha. Le pata obi amata prayer. Rata le gede be dasha. We make demand for open heavens. Shata ta 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 shira la basha. She le gede le gede be dasha. Rata ta 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 le gede be dasha. Labi yara dasha. Le pete le gede be dasha. I transit to my new season. I transit to my new season. Shata ta gaba de la sala. Le pata ta gaba de la shira ka dasha. Shata ka ta ba dasha. Your hand can be empty. Your hand can be empty. Carry your joy. Carry your joy. Carry your joy. Rata tata la gabara la shia la basa. Le pata da gabara la sa. Le pata koto su koto ria basa. Shata la gabara la shia la sa. Le pete le gebersha. Shata la gabara la gabara la sa. Le kete gebersha. He shall give you double for your trouble. He shall give you double for your trouble. Carry your joy. Carry your joy. In the way of the Bashar Al-Kabasiya, Shata leke tele beroya, Shata le kabarasa, leke tele. Quicken your servant as he stand to minister. Bring upon him, rete leke berosha. That water you need for today, that water you've been sweating, it shall never pass you by. Carry your joy, carry your joy, carry your joy. Rete leke Bashar Al-Rasa, Basoto rogoto leke Bashar Al-Rasa. Le pata le kabarasa le, ikwata ba kabarasa, Shata le kabarasa. I shall never let you go unless you bless me. I shall never let you go unless you bless me. Carry your joy. Rete le ke bere shirasa. Shata pata la kabare la siyarasa. Le ke te le kesha. Take your breath so that until his blessings comes. Shata pata le ke bere sha. Shiki ta la kabare la siyarasa. Le pata la kabare la shirasa. She le ke bere sha. Show your joy for days are here. Show your joy for days are here. If you know you serve a God who is good. Can you lift up your voice and give the Lord a mighty shout? He's worthy of our praise. Hallelujah.
Shata Pakata Ladaya, Erapataya, Esatata, Erapataya. If you know only Yeshua is reigning over your life, your family, I want you to rise up with faith and audacity as we declare it on the week. Shout on Monday! Shout on Monday! In the order of the wedding at Canaan, my joyful days are here. The season of shame and luck is over. My paths get brighter and better. My today is better than yesterday. My next manifestation is better than the former. Shout hallelujah. Say on Tuesday, the reaper has taken over the sower. Just as Isaac, I sow and I reap a hundredfold in the same year. Save my favor had overtaken my labor. Say it again, say my favor has overtaken my labor. Say grace has overtaken my competence. Say mercy over my qualifications. Shall my joyful days are here. Shout amen. Say on Wednesday, I am in my joyful days. My barrel of meal shall not waste. My cruise of oil shall not fail. Even in famine, supernatural provisions are my reality. Before I ask, I receive. Before I knock, doors are opened. Shout Amen. Say on Thursday, I am in my joyful days. Say Goliath has fallen. Say Goliath has fallen. Pharaoh has been swallowed. Jezebel has been thrown down. Institutionalized wickedness that turns joyful news into sadness. Shall fire. Say Adonijah has been terminated. If I let me ask you, why don't Adonijah reign? Shall my joyful days are here. Shall my throne is settled. Shall amen. Say on Friday, I am in my joyful days. Mysterious trumpeters get to walk. Wind from the four corners get to walk. Shout all oh, earth. Shout earth. I receive your help. Say Nathans and Bezebas speak up on my behalf. Shout kings. It's time to favor me. Shout the men I need. Shout appear. Shout my joyful days are here. Thunder, amen. Now you would say on Saturday with a lot of panache and sacadelism. Shout on Saturday. My joyful days are here. Things are happening so fast. I, 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 I said things are happening so fast. My head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. Everything is happening at once. Everywhere I look, blessings, celebrations, back to back joyful news, like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. If you know that is your reality, shout amen. Add it with a shout. Add it with a shout. We see to go, hey, and I, 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 Akwachaliga liga, 
Enne sunne bile tu kade yana Amara Ogadi kolwe bure Emana gadi kolwe bure Umbezi chuku Ke yana yi aynario Esenane manota Umbezi chuku understand uh, that 2023 is your time and your turn uh, it doesn't matter whether it is october it doesn't matter whether it is november 
But before this year turns to 2024, what God has preserved for you, you will carry it by fire. Shout Amen! Are you ready to command the remaining part of the year? As I do the call now, you will do the response. 2023! I didn't hear that. October, November, December, 2023! Now is the season of burning and shining lights. Oppression, no darkness anywhere. Let there be light. I am the light of the world. Light that dispels darkness. Light that brings joy. Light that brings wholeness. Light that brings completion. Light that brings good news. I am light. And I bring light wherever. We are at the burning and shining light. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like the way you're saying it. You're not saying it like you're sure. If you're sure, you will declare it like you're sure. All right, we are at the burning and shining light. Yes, we are the light of the world. We are lights and we distribute light. We are strong voices in the marketplace, unbeatable icons in business and career full of heaven-baked ideas and solutions highly sought after the greater light that rules by day we no 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 no. say it again we do what we do what all right the next line we are cities and nations born in a shining light it is my time and my turn i shine shine and shine See how kings and nations are coming to me. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Born in a shining light. The zeal of the Lord's house consumes me. My eyes are on the Lord. My focus is on. My purpose is untainted. Born in a shining light. I am a carrier of glory. Joy arises wherever I am found. I am a kingdom financier. I am a solution carrier. A pattern breaker. Nothing dies around me. I am the preferred one. Oh yeah, I heal the sick. I raise the dead. And how are you gathering your gold? You are too quiet. How you got... Oh my God. Gather it with a shout. Gather it with a loud shout. Are you ready for this last lap? Tell your neighbor, give me space. So just excuse me if I get crazy. All right, let's go right now. Born in a shining light. It is finally my season of joy and good news. I walk into daily victories and joy. Testimonies, huh? Testimonies, huh? Testimonies, huh? Testimonies are all right. Hello, world. Want to go? Hello, world. Rise and welcome. You're born in a shine. Who is the one? Who is the one? What God cannot do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Celebrating. Where are the joyful ones? Where are the happy ones? You cannot be joyful and you'll be sitting like that. You should be jumping. You should be shouting. You should be celebrating. Hey! hey, hey. It is your joyful day. Oh. It's here. Oh. It's here. Oh. It's here. Oh. It's here. Oh. Ah, behold, I will do a new thing. Say it, the Lord. Ah, so they don't know it. I will make graves in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Whose day has come? Whose day has I will look up to the hill from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord. Who is the maker of heaven and earth? Your help is here. No more shame. No more distress. No more crying. No more secret tears. Who am I speaking to? Hey! Throw your head back. Give the Lord a big Shout! Woo! Streams of joy 
Kuta, your joyful days are here. Your joyful days are here. Congratulations. Back to back. Your mother is celebrating. Your father is celebrating. Your sisters are. The big one is coming. It is this we go. Who is ready? Who is ready? Who is ready? Who is ready? Receive it with a shout. Hey! Streams of joy. Weeping men do for the night. But joy comes in the morning. Your morning is here. No more weeping. Your joy has come. The Lord has settled it. Who am I speaking to? Throw your head back and give the Lord a big shout. Ha! Ah, I don't know what you're expecting. But Papa has said it. Oh, God. Hey! Papa has said it, though. Oh, God. If you're expecting a small testimony, don't say anything. But if you know that you know that you know that you're expecting that big one, that loud one, that one that will make some noise, that will shake everywhere. Ah, I want you to shout. I want you to scream. I want you to jump. of joy Abuja I'm happy we're in this together it's a joyful day so if you're joyful you can't keep your face like this the world must know you're joyful forget if it has not happened it's going to happen it's at the doorstep it's at the fingertips it's all around you one more time give the Lord a big shout aha uh -huh. Put your hands together as we welcome these are testifiers. Oninya Dibe, Uchenna Fidelis, Rose Nende, and Teme Shaba. I know why you're not clapping. Because it is not your name. But what of if I told you? Or what of if I tell you? The next Sunday, you shall be testifying. Hey! Okay, meme. Okay, be loud. Give the Lord a big shout! Thank you, Jack, so much for that. My name is Onyinye Adibe, and I have come to say thank you to this great God, and I have come to testify. Honestly, I've gotten a lot of testimonies on this altar. May God bless you, sir. Amen. Um, but I'm presently here to testify on behalf of my friend. So she got married in 2014. And since then, she has been looking for the fruit of the womb. And she keeps losing it until 2016. I met her in 2016. And I told her, you can't be my friend and be barren. That's not possible. Mm -hmm. So we kept praying. And we're praying. She takes in and it goes off. But um, 2021 February, I joined the fire altar. It became a new game. We, had, we understood the prayers and what to say and how to pray. And um, I kept telling her, join the prayer altar, join and join. Mm -hmm. She wasn't feeling okay with it, but later she joined. And so when she did, something significant happened in September 2021. And she took in, otherwise she gets, she gets a dream and she doesn't remember what she dreamt about. But this particular one, she dreamt and she remembered. Somebody placed, the, the, the person placed his hands or her hands on her tummy and said, are you pregnant? And she said, why are you asking? And when she woke up, and that was how she lost that pregnancy. Wow. But I told her, I said, no, we're not giving up. We now understand it. Papa keeps giving us a word every day. Every day we show up on NSPPD, there is always a word. And in September 2022, she took in again. Mm. And on Thursday, that what day was a Thursday. Mm. And Thursday, I came, to, I came to church. That was the service. And after the service, I was still crying. I was crying. And I said, okay, let me just do this last one. I don't do it, but I'm going to do it. And I saw people come to the altar and place their hands here. And I ran. I was crying. I placed my hands there because my friend had called and said she's losing, she's bleeding in the office. I said, okay, take her to the hospital. I can't join you to the hospital. I'm in church. 
And that was how, after service, I came to the altar. I placed my hands. And I said, God, I know you're here because I have received testimonies. Do this one for me, and I will come here and testify. And that was how she, um, after I made that prayer, as I ran to the hospital. She lost that one too, but God answered prayers. He honored his words. After four months, that was in September, um, this January 2023, she took him again. The devil showed up like his normal pattern, but this time around, we were more prayerful. We understood it, and we kept holding on to the word we have heard on the altar. And that was how she, uh, she, she, she carried her t- evidence, she carried her receipt, she carried her testimony in September 2023. One year after I placed my hands here, God honored his words. And I have come to say thank you to this good God. And after nine years of marriage and after nine miscarriages, wow. she's carrying her baby. Wow. May God's name be praised. What our God cannot do, what God cannot do, praise the Lord. What God cannot do does not exist. (laughs) What God cannot do does not exist. I've been suffering for the hand of prayer people. At times I go go many places as I will not go again. Mm. One day my daughter called me from London, say, Mommy, begin to follow this. I say, again, I don't want to enter in the hand of this abracatabao. He said, Mommy, when I, I started, I would like it. So as I joined, uh, anyhow, anyhow. But September, this month, September, early, I joined. When I start opening my, uh, uh, I see what I don't even expect. I see my beloved son, Pastor Jerry. I say, this is a man of God. So I started following. So on the, my daughter finished, because she went to London to do her master's. After she finished her master's, instead of them to give her the results of my, they give her, uh, uh, um, no, they give her diploma. So I say, why? They say he failed one of the uh, uh, paper or paper. He say no, that he didn't fail it. He tested it for them. They say no, that, that he should not, uh, nothing they can do about it again that she should go and look for a company that will help her, or else she come back to Nigeria. Mm-hmm. My daughter cried, called me. I said, don't you, are, are you the one that, are you not the one that introduced me to this, uh, this thing? Pray, tell them that what God cannot do does not exist. Uh-huh. They, can, they are liars. Who, which report would you believe? We believe the report of God, That's not right. their report. Right. We start praying, my beloved. On 22nd this September again, we, I'm just in the, my daughter's parlor in Kaduna, Watch, uh, following, I had my beloved son, Pastor Jerry, said, receive your choice result. Receive, just like that, so I shout, I fall on the floor, I run. My daughter in the kitchen come and say, what is that? I say, Re- uh, my daughter have received her choice result. Mm. I was shouting, she must stand, we shout. After we finish the prayer, mm. for me to just to keep my phone to see, my phone ring. Mm. My daughter said they call, around the 11.30, mm. my daughter said they call her. And tell her she has been disturbing them. Why disturbing them? That they have checked. That they pass everything. That they, they will look. He will pass everything. I say amen. We are continuing praying. Uh, that same day, around 1.30, my daughter called me again. Shouted, what God cannot do does not exist. I jump out in the road. I don't know where I did, self. I don't want to know. I say, yes, yes, I believe. Pastor Jerry is not praying in vain. All this sweating, all this prayer, vibrating, it's not in vain. I said, God, I've done it. After we, we he tell me, they, they call her. Before we know, he called me, she called me again, that I've sent everything that is, they asked her to do her project. That, uh, that with uh, a clearance and project, that they are, they are even pleading to her that they are sorry. So I want to thank God. Wow. I want to appreciate wow. God. I want to say, God, you are faithful. Wow. Jesus, I salute you. Present general. What God cannot do. What our God cannot do. eh? Mama with the swag. Mama with the swag. I like the fact that we're not abracadabra. That was what she thought. But even if she said we're abracadabra. We're abracadabra in Jesus. You know the way it goes. Papa said, they are not the only people that can disappear. We too can disappear and give the Lord a big shout. Praise the Lord. 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 Pra
praise the Lord. All God cannot do. My name is Rose Wendy. Wendy. Yes. yes. Okay, so my testimony. Um, July, pastor declared 14 days prayer and fasting. So um, I came into the prayer, and uh, on the second day, I was supposed to come and give that testimony, but I didn't. On the second day, job I applied for, they called me for interview, and they gave me the job that day. So I was sharing with my friend mm. that, see, I got my own miracle even on the second day. Hallelujah. So um, fast forward to the end of the month, I now collected my salary, I paid tight, and I decided to sow seed with the whole money to um, men of God that have touched my life, starting from this church. So I used all the money like that. I didn't touch any money. So one week after, I had to resign from that job. A lot of things. So I left the job. So I asked that, oh, okay. Uh, the devil told me, I'll give you all of your money so you don't have any other money now. So but I believe that the one that God has given me will come. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God that a place I had sent my CV for, they had taken me in and they put me on their payroll. Wow. And I only got the letter on the 21st of this month. Mm. And then I've been backdated. So what I sold wow. is being given back wow. to me. Wow. Did you hear that? What I sold is being given back to me. So from the 13th of, um, from, from June now to this month now, I will be paid. And when I calculated the money, it's over and above what I sold. Hey. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God because I obeyed and uh, the Lord has done that for me. There are many other testimony, but let's stop here. Part one. Thank you, Jesus. What God cannot do. What God cannot do. What our God cannot do. We calculated that money outside. I don't want to tell you how much it is. Our Father, praise the Lord. Um, I joined this altar. My sister-in-law introduced me to this altar two years ago. But I felt like, no, this is not for me. I logged out. So fast forward to April this year. I did an application that I thought, oh, no, no, this thing is not possible for it not to be successful. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I got, I got rejected mm -hmm. that very day. <laughs> After crying, I now remember that, oh, there is this fire altar. <laughs> I started searching. I searched Instagram. I searched YouTube. I can't even remember the exact name. I was like, okay. At the long run, I just got, I, I joined. I started joining. At first, I was not that serious, but with time, my prayer life actually improved. And the funny thing, the amazing thing about it is this. Since I joined this altar, there is this inner joy that I always have. Mm. No matter the situation, mm. no matter what happens in my life, mm. I always have this inner joy. Mm. And <laughs> that application that I did, I now redo the application. Mm -hmm. I remember Papa said one time like that, that where you were rejected, they will call you back. Right. This application, I did several. Myself that was rejected, the place I was rejected, I was given, I was called back. Mm -hmm. I got three other applications, wow. making four. Three other jobs. <laughs> making four. Mm. That's not the end of it. So I was supposed to come to Abuja for an interview on Friday. So I left Lagos on Thursday. And when I booked my flight, I already said that I'm coming to the fire altar to give my testimony. So I did not book, I did not book my return tickets for yesterday. I booked it till Sunday that I'm going to come, even without getting the testimony yet. But I believe that God of fire altar is going to do it. Right. And on, on Friday, I was supposed to go to, for the interview. I did not go. I come to the church first. I think it was around past seven. Papa gave the word. He said, in three hours' time, <laughs> in three hours' time, you will receive your testimony. Mm. I grab it. Okay, my sister was calling me and I was like, what are you doing? Leave the church. Go for your interview. I was panicking already, but I was waiting for the person to come and pick me up. You know, I was still praying, but panicking. Then Papa said, don't worry. The Almighty God has gone ahead of you. Mm. When I got there, I relaxed. You would think I'm... Um, I'm the only one that was there. 
at some point, I stopped panicking. Then I kept, I kept shouting, what God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. At the long run, I feel like that is not enough. Then I, I remembered, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Mm-hmm. I'm abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Before I know it, I was so relaxed. And when it's time for my interview, the interviewer was just smiling. You will think, <laughs> even when I made mistake, when they asked me for address, I was supposed to say an address in Lagos. I did not mention the address, so I said mainland. The interviewer was like, do you mean Ojo? I said, no, mainland. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> she, she said, okay, do you mean Lekki Express? I said, no, that's, it's not Lekki. Lekki Express, Express, Express is on the island. This is on the mainland. She did not even notice that I made mistakes. And God, like, the glory of Almighty God fall on, my, fall on me from head to toe. Because I had a testimony on this altar. When the, one, one lady said, she said the glory of Almighty God should fall on her shoulder. So since that time, I claim it and I say that when I'm going for my interview, the glory of Almighty God is going to fall upon me from head to toe. Grace speak for me. And three, immediately when it's three hours, I got my approval. Wow. Just like Papa said. What God cannot do, what our God cannot do, who else is looking at their wristwatch? It may not be up to three hours or I don't know how many hours or even minutes. And it just key to this testimony. If God has done it for her, you're getting your own. Throw your head back, give the Lord a big shout. Hey, hey, hey. you know the drill. Your hands to get the line, yeah. Make it louder, church. Make it louder. Make it louder. One more time, go. When the spirit is a boy, lift the medical Don't worry, I will surely outrun. I will surely outrun. This is why Osolua is involved, involved, involved. So I know listen.
haven't lost the battle shout like you know you have your evidence shout like you know there's no stopping you shout like you know the lord has given you any evidence somebody scream somebody shout somebody shout if not for the lord who was on your side raise your voice shout shout he's doing it he's working he's fighting he's taking over he's doing it he's making a way he's releasing right now right now right now scream 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 give the lord a little shout how many look at your neighbor tell your neighbor say neighbor that was the wrong neighbor leave that one get in the face of another and tell that one say neighbor if not for the lord who was on my side say neighbor the same god that began a good work in my life is about to accomplish it on a higher level somebody shout yes how many look at your neighbor say neighbor tell your neighbor i hear something say i hear the sound of abundance of rain tell your neighbor i hear it say it's raining joy it's raining testimonies it's raining laughter does it sound like your rain 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 give the lord a loud shout i decree it is done I decree it is done. I decree it is done. You see, somewhere, you know, I, I, I see you this week. Somewhere before Monday ends, you're going to say, What the enemy meant for evil, God has turned it around. Turn it around. What the enemy meant for evil, God has turned it around for my good. Does it sound like your testimony? No, 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 no. It doesn't sound like. If it sounds like your testimony, raise your voice. Give him a shout. What the enemy meant for shame. Oh. God has turned it around. Hey! Hey! What the enemy meant for me. God has turned it around for my good. Hey! They will be watching you. You will sing that song to them. What the enemy meant for disgrace. God has turned it around. Hey, turn it around. What the enemy meant for evil, God has turned it around for my good. If it sounds like your testimony, lift up your voice. Give the Lord a loud shout. Lift up your two hands. As I speak the blessings of God, He has given me over your careers and businesses. As He has put in my spirit and said I should declare over for the fourth service, He put those words. Lift up what you do for a living unto God. Today, these are 11 things God said I should speak over. The mandate and enforcement of dominion. I wish I can explain this declaration. But there's no way to explain it. Enforcement of dominion. Let me tell you this. It's a mantle that is coming upon your career. No matter how many they are. Doing what you are doing. At the sound of your image, the mantle of dominion has been enforced in your life. 
receive it right now receive it right now let your amen thunder while it is lifted before the lord troublers of your career troublers of your business it is a righteous thing for the lord to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you troublers unreasonable men wicked men conspirators in three days may the lord serve them the bread of affliction the louder your amen the more the brimstones are falling let your amen turn the louder let your amen turn the louder let your amen turn the let your amen turn the as your two hands are lifted i decree over your life receive speedy results in career speedy results in business receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let your amen thunder in the remaining days of the year let your career and business enjoy high favor i say let it enjoy high favor let it enjoy high favor let it enjoy high favor ancient secrets that people do not know let it be revealed unto you let it be revealed unto you let it be revealed unto you let your amen thunder listen sit on your throne in that career I say we are your crown in the career let your amen turn now let your amen turn now every pattern of losses are broken your business or career as your amen will turn down, it will advance the kingdom it will advance the kingdom it will advance the kingdom let your amen turn down. in seven days your result will silence the naysayers <laughs> your results will silence the naysayers receive it of the lord receive it right lord receive it of the lord i don't know who has this word but as your symbol of what you do for a living is lifted before the lord the glory of israel said i should announce nothing will go wrong can i say it again nothing will go wrong nothing will go wrong nothing will go wrong nothing will go wrong let your aim and thunder let your aim and thunder any year, year man planted around you around your career around your business by the force of the holy ghost let them be uprooted by fire let them be uprooted by fire let them be uprooted by fire today your career businesses they move to a higher level 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 i wish your amen will turn that 11 times it is done open your bibles to the book of ruth chapter 1 from verse 1 to 16 the book of Ruth chapter 1 from verse 1 to 16 Ruth chapter 1 from verse 1 to 16 and we're going to read 2 from verse 1 to 3 3 from verse 1 to 3 hallelujah Ruth chapter 1 from verse 1 to 16 praise the Lord like a mass choir. At a count of three, we're going to read together. One, two, three. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech and the name of his wife, Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Malon and Chilon. Ephrathites of Bethlehem, Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech's Naomi's husband died, and she was left and her two sons. And they took them wives to the women of Moab. The name of the one was Opa, and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwell there about ten years. And Malon and Chilion died also, both of them. And the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. 
Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might have returned from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab how the Lord had visited his people and given them bread. Wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was and her two daughters-in-law with her. And they went on the way to return unto the land of Judah. And Naomi said unto her daughters-in-law, Go and return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant you that you might find rest, each of you, in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voice and wept. And they said unto her, Surely we will return with thee unto thy people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Are there yet any more sons in my womb, that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters. Go your way, for I am too old to have an husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have an husband also tonight, and should also bear sons, would you tarry for them till they were grown? Would you stay for them from having husbands? Nay, my daughters, for it grieved me much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord is gone against me. And they lifted up their voice and wept again, and Opa kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clave unto her. And she said, Behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Chapter 2, from verse 1 to 3. And Naomi had a kinsman of her husband's, a mighty man of wealth, of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabite said unto Naomi, Let me go to the field and glean ears of corn after him in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. And she went, came, and gleaned in the field after the reapers. And her hap was the light on a part of the field, belonging unto Boaz, who was of the kindred of Elimelech. Chapter 3, from verse 1 to 3. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest for thee, that he may be well with thee? And now is not Boaz of our kindred, with whose maidens thou was? Behold, he winnoweth barley tonight in the threshing floor. Wash thyself thereof, and anoint thee, and put thy raiment upon thee, and get thee down to the floor. But make not thyself known unto the man, until he shall have done eating and drinking. And it shall be when he lieth down, that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie. And thou shalt go in and uncover his feet, and lay thee down. And he will tell thee what thou shalt do. And he said unto her, all that thou sayest unto me, I will do. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Let there be none of any man, but all of you. Father, we ask you, have your way, Father. Let it be all about you. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. Somebody help me lift up your right hand and say, I am well positioned for my joyful days. I want you to thunder it again. Say, I am well positioned for my joyful days. If you believe it, can you thunder a louder? Amen. Can you thunder a bigger? Amen. Would you take your seat in the presence of the Lord? My assignment in the service is actually a very simple one. To condition our positioning for our joyful days. And to make it obvious that no matter what God has prepared for you, when there is no right positioning, there will be no right receiving. So people of God, there are days of joy ahead of you. But God seems to be saying to someone under the sound of my voice, it is time to position yourself rightly. Lay your own hand on your own head and decree, say grace for right positioning. I need you to say it again like you mean it. Say grace or grace. Shout it again. Say grace for right positioning. Say rest on me right now. Shout it again. Say rest on me right now. Shout it again. Rest on me right now. If you believe it, can you turn that louder? Amen. 
Take your seat in the presence of the Lord and observe keenly, people of God. Observe saints of God with me that the beginning of the positioning of Ruth came from the very first conversation she had with her mother-in-law on whether she should go back or whether she should stay back in Moab or whether she should continue with her to that journey. That was where the position, he did not start with lying at the feet of Boaz. That is not where he began. He began with that conversation. Her mother-in-law looks at her and then tells them, you need to hear this again. Let me underline it and tells both her and Opa and say, listen, I want you to, to know this. If I get pregnant now, will I give birth to a child that will marry you? If, so following me is useless. In other words, uh, if you look at me and look at me as a harbinger of your future, I want to let you know that I cannot supply any. In fact, I want you to understand that anything, everything you can ever become is inside me, Naomi. So let me tell you why it won't work. I cannot have a child now. But even if you say, let me have children, will you allow them to grow? Will you? So Naomi summarized their existence in herself. Let me say it again. Naomi summarized their future inside of her. So Naomi, anything that these women would ever become, you are trying to say is inside of you. Look at somebody, look at your neighbor, say, my destiny is bigger than a man. I want you to shout it louder, say, my destiny is bigger than a man. Say it again, say, my destiny is bigger than a man. If you believe it, can you turn that louder, amen. And I came to announce to someone under the sound of my voice, whether men are lying or not, you will carry your evidence. No matter what is going around you, I say you will carry your evidence. If you believe it, can you turn that in louder? Amen. Can you turn that in louder? Amen. Can you scream a better? Amen. Let me say this is an aside. But in destiny, the Bible says, I and the children the Lord has given unto me are for what? Are for what? Are for what? Listen, people of God. Notice the chronology in this very simple scripture that we've read. Very simple chronology. I and the children the Lord has given to me are for what? Signs, number one, and wonders. People of God, they are different. They are different. There's a difference between sign and wonder. Every man on a journey, hear me and hear this. In destiny, there are men that will come your way. They are signs. There are others that will come your way. They are wonders. Now, do not disregard your sign because it's a pointer to your wonder. Your sign may not have the money of your wonder, but your sign can point you to where your wonder is. Your sign has the wisdom to take you to the place called wonder. Your sign must not be ill-treated, mistreated, maltreated, neglected because your, that man that God has brought you away is a sign. I and the children the Lord has given to me, we are for signs and wonders. So at different phases in your life, you are going to meet people. They are not the wonder elements, but they are your sign element. So there are people who met their wonders and did not understand that this was your wonder because there was no sign to point you to your wonder. You are still looking for a wonder when you miss the sign. Am I communicating? Let me say this to every man. I would flip it on the other side. As you journey in life, know what your assignment is. Do not go to become a wonder to someone when you know that all you are just there to do is to be a sign. There are some people, what you owe them is where you point them to. Not what you do for them. I hope I'm making sense. I am the truth. So at every phase of your life, you are either somebody's sign or you are somebody's wonder. Did I make sense? So, Coming down to the case of Ruth, we'll find someone who, my son, he says, he says, he says look, at, look at when Ruth was replying, no, me. He said, say, ma, ma, excuse me, ma, don't ever ask me to leave you. 
Don't ask me to depart. He said, listen, ma, this is not about you. He said, where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Ma, excuse me, do you know that this is beyond you? Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. In other words, ma, don't make it about you. There is a people behind you. Sir, did her people become happy? <laughs> Shall you understand the English I'm trying to speak? Did her people become her people? Yes, sir. So, even though people of God, even though she understood this is my son, this is a pointer to where I'm going to, I will not miss Koba and Desha. Let me tell you, no matter how much God wanted to use uh, what is her name, Ruth, so as to be part of the genealogy of the if he, she missed that sign if she missed that sign do you know that it was the sign that was discouraging her let me say to, so there are some people you are grateful for they are in your life in the next few years you will find out that they are just signs they just were there they were in destiny to point you to where you were actually going to they were not really the one people people of God when people come your way discern are you a sign or are you a wonder? Are you getting what I'm saying? Because you do not put the responsibility of someone who the Lord sent into your life to be a wonder. You don't put that responsibility on someone who just came to be a sign. Am I communicating? So she understood that this woman in my life, I'm talking about joyful days, this woman in my life, she understood in destiny. There was, Ruth had an understanding before she went to talk about death, which is finality. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Ruth understood. There's a journey for every man of destiny. There's always a destination. You see, there's a people and there is a God. These four things summarize your existence on earth. Journey, destination, people, and God. He says, where you go, journey. Where you lodge, destination. Your people, people. Your God, my God. Never forget these four things. At every phase you are in life, ask yourself, what is my... You know, at some point, you can be going somewhere and forget where you are going to. Even while you are... I'm not talking about destination. You can be driving like this and forget. Where am I even driving? You just keep driving. You just keep driving. You just keep driving. And then you miss it. Where? What's my journey like? Seasons when you get confused about your journey. Ask yourself, what made me start? Did you hear what I just said, Ryan? Seasons when you are confused about your journey. Ask yourself, what made me start? The journey... Never forget the destination. Because as you are joining, the devil will bring petty things to distract you. At some point, you don't understand why you are, you are being distracted. No, no, no. Understand. There's a journey here. There's a destiny. You must reach your destination. Am I communicating? You must. Somebody under the sound of my voice. Anybody that has sworn you will not reach your destination. Let the earth you are standing on right now. Let the earth fight them to a standstill. Lift up your right hand and thunder say, I will get there. As your two hands are lifted, anybody that is living, standing upon the earth, that has said, they will battle you. They will battle you. As I lay my hands on the earth, let this earth fight them. Let the earth swallow them. Let your amen turn there. Lift up your right hand, thunder, I will get there. Shout it again like you mean it, say, I will get there. Thunder it like you understand it, say, I will get there. Shout it louder, say, I will get there. Thunder it very well, say, I will get there. Take your seat for one second. So I need you to understand, in the journey of destiny, as you move in life, never forget my journey. Never forget what the destination is like. Always there's a people in every journey. It becomes frustrating when the right people are not in your journey. When you begin to journey, 
If the devil wants to frustrate you, he will just bring wrong people in your journey. There are journeys you will wish you never started. Have you ever been in a car where the driver is very rough? And you're telling driver, driver, stop this thing. Driver, stop this thing. Driver, stop this thing. Driver, stop. And they feel like they know what they are driving. Have you ever been in an aircraft when it is turbulent? And one arrogant pilot thinks he knows how to navigate everywhere. And then you're going, go, 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 pilot. Pilot. And they say, they, hey, hey, there's nothing to worry about. And then, you know, it, it, it even begins to worry you when they're there. Hello, we are 40,000 feet. Uh, uh, no, 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 nothing to worry about. <laughs> it's on the court of Mission Odia. What are you laughing about? It's not funny. But this is me trying to say the people that you have in your journey. Sometimes your destination can be authentic. Your journey might be divine. But the people can be demonic. So the devil knows how to sometimes, and this was what this girl was prophesying. You see Ruth? She knows what she was saying. She says as I begin this journey I am clear about it. My destination, I am clear about it. He said, but however, your people, not my people, not my people, not the people that I do not know, my people, someone I pray for you. May God send the right people into your life. If your amen will thunder, let the Lord uproot the wrong people out of your life. I said, let the Lord uproot the wrong people out of your life. Let them disappear. Let them disappear. Let them disappear. Let your aim and thunder. Take your seat. When God sent you your people, even you know that this person is my people. For want of a better word to put it, they sat at meat and the man that was not his person went and kissed him. Jesus said, when they started me, first of all, say, he that will dip his hand into the, is the same that will betray me. And then he still dipped it. But there was one that said nothing. But every time Jesus spoke, when they started meet, he will put his head on the bosom of Jesus. He never said a word. But he heard his heart beat. He never said a word. So day that Jesus was on the cross. Jesus looks at the cross. Addresses his mother. And said woman. Behold thy son. So, so even at that. The one Jesus was not going to let that one go. Because he understood people of God. There are people, there are people, and there are people. Others called her a bad girl. A red like the street girl. But she took her alabaster box. Came at the feet of Jesus. It was when Jesus spoke we understood what she was doing. Because everybody was calling her a sinner. Jesus said, shut up your mouth. This lady has prepared me for my burial. You people are here. Quick criticizing her for now. She's settling my future. She's handling my future. You don't understand what she's doing. When your people come, they see you beyond your laughter. Everybody ask you, how are you? How are you? But when your person comes, he would ask you, How are you? And they mean it. They carry your body. They're not there. They're not there for the good times. As your amen will thunder. People who are your people, really. As your amen will thunder, let the Lord send them into your life. Let the Lord send them into your life. Let the Lord send them into your life. Let your amen thunder.
and he says thy people shall be my people and thy God my God root her to warn the mother-in-law don't ask me don't tell me to leave you don't tell me to leave you he said I'm telling you to leave me because your, 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 your sister at the upper she has gone now follow follow your, your sister and Ruth was saying we don't have the same destiny we don't have that. Don't tell me that. Opa, don't compare me with Opa. In transition seasons, we don't do comparisons. Because when you begin to compare in your transition season, it's either you think you have arrived, right? Or you begin to feel sorry for where you are. It is your transition season. It is not our transition season. And then she makes that word and begins to follow her mother-in-law. No, I'm not on the, on the place of finality. I'm, I mean, she, she follows her mother-in-law and says, I'm going with you. This journey is beyond you. But by chapter 2, people of God, by chapter 2, there was this king's man whose name was Boaz, a mighty man of wealth of the family of Elim Elimelech. And his name was Boaz. Uh -huh. And Ruth the Moabite said unto him, Let me now go to the field and glean ears of corn after him in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. Uh -huh. And she went and came and gleaned in the field after the reapers. And her heart was to light on people of God. Your joyful days must have a harvest mentality. All I do is to think about winning. You must have a harvest mentality. This is a root had to carry herself inside the period of harvest. Even though while she was in the harvest, it is the one they left over for her. That is one she will carry. But people of God, you know how it is that this girl, I suppose, she was picking left over with an attitude. There was just, you know, it was small. What was coming to her was small. But she did the small as if it was everything. She did her small assignment. Like keep her that sad day. People of God, you see that small you are doing. What, Pastor, why are you so shocked? Let me tell you. There are too many people that come. Beggars in the Bible times. That's the way they do. When there is a major harvest coming, they follow the reapers. Even the Bible said it, I think it was in Exodus or in Deuteronomy, that when you harvest, live small for uh, the poor people so that they will come. So there were too many of them. But look at the next verse. Show me the next verse. Show me there. And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said unto the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Yes. Then said Boaz unto his servants that was set over the reaper, Whose damsel is this where they enter I? Yeah. Boaz, so among all the ladies there, among all the ladies there, as a nobody, people of God, do your assignment in a way it go enter So even as that girl was speaking up, because it's not just fine girl, it's not just that girl and her eye. I know, because notice that even when Boaz was describing her later, Boaz now began to tell her, I have seen the way you have conducted yourself. I've seen the way you have carried yourself, you know, and all of that. You are not busy sleeping around. You are not busy. You just carried yourself. So it was her attitude that entered Boaz's eye. When life gives you opportunity, Make sure you do your assignment in a way that it will enter eye. And this is how it entered the eye of Boaz. Boaz was highly carried. And he was looking, okay, this girl, this girl, this girl, fine girl, good attitude, fine girl, right panache, fine girl, she doesn't mess around, fine girl, well spoken fine girl, you know, do. And then, now finished everything. But the important thing is that the seed has been, in fact, I didn't want us to read it, but let's read the next verse. Let's read the next verse. The next verse. And the servant that was set over the reapers, and said, I said, it is the Moabitish damsel that came with Naomi out of the country of Moab, yes. And she said, I pray you let me glean and gather da 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 da, da. yes, the next, next verse. Then said Boaz unto Ruth, hearest thou not my daughter, Go not glean in another field, neither go from hence, but I abide here, fast by my maidens. Abide here, 
let me take care of you let thine eye be on the field that they do reap and go down after them have i not charged the young men that they shall not touch thee that when thou art test go unto the vessel and drink of that which the young men have drawn then she fell on her face this girl this girl she fell on her face and bowed herself to the ground i said why have i found grace in thy eye that thou shouldest take knowledge of me singing i am a stranger look at you now look at look at what Boaz said. And Boaz answered and said unto her, It had fully been shown me all that thou hast done unto thy mother-in-law since the death of thy, and how thou hast left thy father and thy mother, and the land of thy nativity, and had come unto a people which thou knewest not heretofore. The Lord recompense thy work, and a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou art come to dwell. Is she the only person that has done good work before? If your amen were thunder, may you enter the eye of your helpers. Anyway, let me tidy up very quickly. Chapter 3. So, after they have seen these things, and these things have gone, you know, then Naomi, her mother in law, said unto her, My daughter, Shall I not seek rest for thee? Jesus. I read this scripture like 20 times. This verse. Naomi said unto Ruth, Shall I not seek rest for thee? Jesus. There are men, when they enter your life, they, they, are, they, they become rest for you. She said, Shall I not seek? Seek, I will seek until you have compounded. There are men, one word they will speak a current battle you are going through everything will just end i don't i don't know who i am sent for Kebalada. may men who will seek your rest may men who will walk your rest keep another shadow on the sound of your amen let them enter your life i wish your amen will be louder than that I said, let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise. This was Naomi saying, Shall I not seek rest for thee, that it may be well with thee? Do not forget that this lady understood when this woman was being repulsive that you are my sign you are my sign this was you that asked me to go you are now the one saying shall i not seek rest for thee thank god she didn't leave that long she understood that this is my sign i'm not going anywhere he says shall i not seek rest for thee that it may be well with thee now look at it. And now it's not Boaz of our kindred with whose maidens that was. Behold, he winnoweth barley tonight in the threshing floor. This is the night he's going to be separating chaff from the wheat. This night is important because the wheat that will stay and the chaff are going to go. Someone is going to be your portion. Let every chaff in your life let it disappear by fire let it disappear by fire let it disappear by fire let your amen thunder louder and he says wash thyself therefore so it's going to be you know you know what they are doing just imagine in your head that's one it is that um, that, that kind of a harvest time and then all of that winnowing is going on and this man Boaz was going to be in charge of that sieving process so there's going to be dust everybody is going to be smelling like harvest everybody is going to be smelling like wheat everybody's going because you know it produces a lot of dust and all of that but she told her wash thyself therefore wear perfume put thy raiment don't smell like wheat 
because everybody will be smelling alike everybody will be looking dusty and all of that be one person that will stand out from the crowd remember I came I told you I was talking about positioning for your joyful days don't ever talk like everybody don't ever behave like everybody there is no destination for everybody did you hear what I just said he said we are perfume dress well don't look like the harvest going on stand out don't look dirty he says get thee down to the floor but make not thyself known unto the man until he shall have done eating and drinking when he's about to relax and it shall be when he lieth down that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie thou shalt go in and uncover his feet just his feet don't go too far and lay thee down and he will tell thee what thou shalt do because when this leg defeat meet with your head just uncover it a bit some of you are waiting so pastor go continue continue I finish I'm not continuing let me say this the important thing is that Naomi told her don't look like everybody wear perfume look different don't go as everybody smelling like a bag of wheat bag of wheat bag of wheat bag of wheat don't go and follow them and be smelling like bag of wheat look different may they not come amongst them people and someone will just say they are all alike let it never be said you entered the room you spoke and people everybody thought that you spoke like every other person never come into a room and your smile does not enlighten every just just be different be different refuse that their depression will be your depression be different refuse that you will wear your battle on your face be different refuse that they will bring you to their level where they will talk you respond they will talk you respond they will talk you no 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 don't look like what is going on we are proper perfume smell good you will catch the attention of Boaz rise on your feet wherever you are would you lift up your two hands wherever you are were you blessed today as your two hands are lifted, I decree your days of joy. I want to make that prayer. Your people, your lifters, your accelerators, your protectors, that people, that people, your people will be my people. Those here, look at, look at Boaz. Boaz was Noami, Noami's person, eventually. So she knew what she was saying. Your people that will be there, that will fight for you, that will shut the door of negativity as your amen will thunder receive them this week the louder your amen the quicker it is happening receive it right now receive it right now let your amen thunder three times would you put together your offerings I bless you too together your offerings, your tithes and your partnership and lift it up before put together your offerings, your tithes and your partnership in streams of joy we stand to give to God because we are offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords The account details of the church are on the screen. So encourage everyone that is giving 
to just put it together and raise it up before the Lord. Rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. Don't make it look like I was talking to people who are not here. So would you make it a wave of... It's a protocol of the house for us to rise to give to God. It's our part of our in-house honor to the God that we love. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Let the blessings of those who have honored the Lord with their offerings, their tithes, and their partnership be your portion. The devourer is rebuked for your sake. Windows of heaven are opened and blessings are poured out that there will not be room enough to contain. I decree it is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead and drop your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. As soon as you give, you might as well go ahead and take your seat in the presence of the Lord. For what our God cannot do. People of God, Monday and Tuesday on the altar of fire is exciting me. I beg of you, in whatever you're doing, don't miss what is about to happen on Monday and Tuesday. We're praying the prayer, Elroy. Elroy. Somebody shout, Elroy. I don't need to tell you. It almost looks like the encapsulation. Anywhere you see it, any NSPP, one thing they remember very profoundly is Elroy. The God that sees me. We're going to be making that a prayer on Monday and Tuesday. Now, it is so significant that it is the last two days, last two days of October. He will see you. He will see you. He will see you. Download the pictures of what you desire and come with them to the altar of fire. People of God, Harvest Full Monday, Answer Full Monday, Shift Full Monday, Miraculous Monday, whatever it is, people of God, God is available to make that happen. Next Sunday service, the team of our service is God of the 11th hour. And that will be the first Sunday in the 11th month of the year. And the team of our service is God of the 11th hour. It's our communion and anointing service. God of the 11th hour. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God of the 11th hour. So it's our communion and anointing service. And it's happening in all our four services on Sunday. First service is 7 a.m. Second service is 8.30 a.m. Third service is 10.15 a.m. And the last service is 11.45 a.m. Our word and fire service continues this week, if God be for us. And it's the third week of if God be for us in time, once again, at 6 p.m. Discipleship classes host tomorrow by 6 p.m. here in church. All dedications have been scheduled for the 12th of November, second week in November. Our church building project is still on. Thank you for everyone who has given. So please, the account details of the church are on the screen. Please ensure that you are part of this project. For what our God cannot do does not exist. Partnership forms are available at the inquiry desk right outside the auditorium. Both CDs and MP3s of our Man of God's messages are also available. Please pick up testimony forms so you'll be scheduled to testify in church by next Sunday. Right about now, allow me to welcome those who are in streams of joy for the first time. Today is your first time of being in our house. We are so delighted, excited, exhilarated, overwhelmed, not in any way underwhelmed to have you in service today. As we put our hands together for the Lord, can you rise on your feet? Those who are in streams of joy, Abuja, for the first time, celebrate them, church, while they rise. Celebrate them, celebrate them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Hallelujah. And while they remain standing for a few seconds, we want to say we're delighted, we're overwhelmed, not in any way underwhelmed to have you in service today. My name is Pastor Jerry Azzi, and I'm the lead pastor of Streams of Joy International. We believe that your coming here today was ordained by God. It could never have been a happenstance. It could never just have been one of those things. No, it is not even a chip of the old block. It was God that ordered your steps to be here. Thank you very much for coming. And I believe that the encounter you have had today is going to birth a chain of joyful sounds in your life. We strongly believe in the remaining days of October, this October that will end by Tuesday, at the sound of your amen, you will carry your evidence. So all we require you to do right now, I believe the ushers must have slipped in a form into your hands. All we require you to do right now is to fill out your details in the forms that the ushers have given you and turn it into an usher. For two reasons, we want to get across to you and we want to keep you in our prayers. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being so amazing and thank you for joining our service today. Um, I strongly believe that you're going to be back here next Sunday. Thank you. So, oh, they're already nodding. Thank you for coming. Just celebrate them while they take their seats in the presence of God. 
So please fill out your details in the forms that the ushers have given you. Make sure you hand it into an usher or you drop it over the inquiry desk on your way out. Please allow me to welcome those who are saying, Pastor Jerry, it might be my first time. Oh, but I've made up my mind this is going to be my church. I've made up my mind this is going to be my church. If that sounds like you, can you wave your hands? Can you wave your hands? All those who are saying, Pastor, wow, 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 wow. All right, I want to pray for you. I want to release prophetic blessings over your life. Can you come out here and let me pray for you? All those who are saying, Pastor, I made up my mind. This is going to be my home. This is going to be my place. Celebrate them, church, while they come. Let's release prophetic blessings. Prophetic, profound blessings over their lives while they come. Look at them coming. Celebrate them. Celebrate them the way you'll be celebrated. Celebrate them. Celebrate them, church. Don't stop celebrating them. 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 Don't stop. Don't stop celebrating them, church. Keep celebrating them while they come. Keep celebrating them while they come. Keep celebrating them while they come. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Wow, what a joy. What a joy. What a joy. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Hallelujah. And people of God, while we are waiting for the rest to join us here, we want to say that we're very delighted. Thank you very much for choosing to be a part of this house. I want to tell you that this is not just a decision to be part of a church, but I want you to know that you just joined a prophetic company, a prophetic company where profound and unimaginable results shall be evidenced in your destiny. Is it okay if I pray for you at this point? In the name of Jesus, I decree, let the hand of the Lord be strong upon you. Let the Lord give you that evidence that sounds like a lie. I decree, let every possibility we have experienced here as a ministry, let the same be made manifest in your life. I decree, carry your evidence. You have been remembered by God. Negativities are reversed over your life. You are sitting on your throne. Whatever that followed you to this place that is not of God, I announce that they are broken right now. You are in your evidence. Nothing missing and nothing broken. In Jesus' name. To say I'm delighted to have you as a member of the church does not even capture the way I feel. But I want you to know that it is such a huge honor to pastor you. And I want you to know that every night in my nighttime, I remember to pray for every member of this church. So just know that you are forever under my prayers. And I want you to know that your life will never be the same again. Our midweek service is every Thursday, so you have to be. Then again, if you want to be a worker in church, if you want to know the doctrines of the church, we encourage you to be here for discipleship classes every Monday. That is tomorrow by 6 p.m. You will love every bit of what you are going to hear. For what our God cannot do does not exist. I can't wait to celebrate celebrate the next three months of your life. There are going to be several loud testimonies that will bring you to your place of joy. I decree it is done. Is it okay if I give you a virtual hug? Is that okay? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? <laughs> God bless you, church. Can we celebrate them while they return to their seat? Celebrate them the way you'll be celebrated. Celebrate them. If you came from out of Nigeria, you came from out of Nigeria to be in service, can you just come out here? Let me pray for you. All those that came from out of Nigeria to be in service, just celebrate them while they come. All those that came from out of Nigeria, celebrate them. Celebrate them, church. Celebrate them. All those that came from out of Nigeria, keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them, church. Keep celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Don't stop celebrating them. Wow. 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 Keep celebrating them while they come. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. Keep celebrating them. That's the way God is going to open several international doors for you. Keep celebrating them while they come. Keep celebrating. Look at them coming. Look at them coming. Look at them coming. Celebrate them, church. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them for what our God cannot do. So people of God, celebrate them. All I need you to do is to, I'm going to ask you to tell me your name and where you're coming from. Just let me know what your name is and where you're coming from. Uh, Roland from California. You're welcome. Uluwato Yolajude from Cape Town, South Africa. 
Vivian from Russia. Millie from the UK. Stella from Maryland, USA. Blessing from Russia. Peter, Maryland, USA. Timitokwe from the US. Um, Esther from the UK. Niba Frederick from Yaoundé, Cameroon. Jasuni Fwabrukum from Ghana. Valerie from Cameroon. I'm Stella, a Cameroonian based in Pura, Illinois, USA. Indiana Ogwike from London. Julie from Minnesota, USA. Pastor Jerry, we're waiting for you to open a branch in Minnesota. I will open a branch in Minnesota. Papa Emmanuel Ogike from UK. Pastor Jerry, I'm not the first foreigner to come here. From abroad, I'm not going to be the last. But I was sent here purposely to see you. Right. And, uh, God, you're welcome. We, I, 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 it will happen. Yes. Esther Adoyo from Nairobi, Kenya. I love you, Pastor Jerry. I love you too. Olubukola <laughs> from USA, Maryland. Agatha from Cameroon. Emmanuel from UK. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. No, sir, from UK. And Peace from United Kingdom. Benny from the United Kingdom. IB from Streams of Joy, Birmingham. Welcome. Faith Alele from Nairobi, Kenya. I love you, Pastor Jerry. What God cannot do does That's not exist. Oh, Olubume from the U.S. Oju from the U.S. also. Sumi from the U.S. At, at Jamie from Ken, but sorry, I just wanted to say to, uh, this to you. My daughter said I should tell you this. She had to um, enroll for an exam, but people take like three years to... Um, um, Is that a prayer from? request? No, 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 no. Okay. And that I don't say that she, in two, mu in two months, she prayed like she was always on the um, altar. Mm. And, she, and she said I should tell you that she passed in, not just passed the ball. Oh, wow. Her. She cleared all her things. Yeah, yeah. Hello, my name is Odegwai from Igbewo, and from Ireland, and right. Dublin. Right. I'm here. No, don't worry, don't worry. No, no don't worry, don't worry, I, don't worry, don't worry. Please, please. Nina from London, good to see you, Pastor Jerry. Good to see you as well. Diane Garland from Canada. <laughs> Praise God. I do know, I am aware why I was telling her to hold on. I know some of you came here with burdens in your heart, the things that you desire that God would intervene on. I have never seen God fail. Moments like this remain indelible in the hearts of people because whatever the issue is, God is about to turn it around. I do not take it lightly that I know some of you traveled, pay your flight ticket. and So that's why we do this every Sunday, to call out those who may have traveled from long distances to be here. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, whatever that has followed you, that brought you tears, that brought you pain, that made you question God, at the sound of your amen, I decree, let it be broken right now. Today I decree, let whatsoever be the institutionalized wickedness around your life, let it be broken right now. Amen. Let bondages be broken. Amen. Let the captives be set free. Amen. Whether you are here or you are standing in for your loved one, let there be a turnaround. Amen. Let the burdens be rolled away right now. Amen. And let diseases be terminated. Amen. Let bondages be rolled away. And let the name of Jesus be glorified. Amen. The Egyptians you saw before, you will see them no more. Amen. You have been remembered by the Lord. You have been remembered by the Lord. Amen. Your good news begins now. Amen. Your good news begins now. Amen. Your good news begins now. Amen. Let your amen thunder. It is done. It is done. God bless you. Church, can we celebrate while they return to their seats? Celebrate them while they return to their seats. 
Have you been blessed by God today? Can you rise on your feet wherever you are and lift up your two hands? I decree that this week will be one of your best weeks so far. I hear the sound of celebration. From what you call an impossibility, the Lord will make a name for himself. Go and rejoice. For the Lord has heard you. Lift up your two hands. Scream after me. Say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am seen of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God. My God. My God. In Him will I trust. Somebody shout back to me. Say, my joyful days are here. Can you meet 14 persons and scream in their ear, my joyful days are here.